plumage is everywhere. We are... I don't even know how long we are in the, like 30 hours in this game at this point, I think. We're currently on our way to uh, this castle to probably go kill some people. Because there's some bad people that live inside that castle. They made this giant gun that can shoot and destroy basically anything. So that's not cool. So we gotta stop that. Um, but yeah. How are all of you doing? Uh, first, I wanted to, before we continue on to down there, I wanted to go off this side path over here and see what's up with this giant rock in the sky. And then we can proceed onward. You love killing people? Okay, maybe, maybe don't say that. Maybe don't say that out loud. So I'm gonna do some sick, uh, zipline grinding. Just see what's over here. I think this is off the beaten path, but that's okay. What kind of place is this? Uh, it, it's Hovering like reef. Can I fast drop here? No. It gusts or anything, right? Now, right now, we're still pretty high level. Um, I did do a little bit of grinding yesterday just to get classes uh, leveled up because I feel like I was like I was running behind. So I want to try and max out like all the classes for everybody. What is this? What is this? Oh, weird. Well, let's kill it. Don't try to stop us. All set and ready to tumble. Make this quick. Look at you. Oh, the saucy. Oh, the Xenoblade is going! Last night I got killed by a giant fluffy capybara that we're gonna have to kill. It was my own fault though, because my team, you know, I'm not exactly running the, the best team makeup since we're so over leveled, but this was like a legendary or, or unique, I think. And so it murdered me, and it was very unfortunate. That thing was so cute. Yeah, it was. Until it killed me. And now I will have my vengeance. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello, Nico. I wonder what's inside. I did also find a cool place when I was grinding for class experience. I'll I'll go there when we have a fast travel point back. I'm assuming we're going to get a fast travel point soonish. I guess I have to climb up the uh, the wall over here. I'm just curious if there's anything worthwhile up there. Oh yeah, but there you go, the, that giant mountain right there, with a circle carved out of it, that was shot at by that giant gun over there. So there you go, there's some destruction. It's not a nice gun. Very evil gun. Made by evil people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's a mean gun. That gun would talk shit about your family. Yep, call you names. Hello, Kaga. Oh, the world still looks so cool. I just can't help but imagine what it would look like if it wasn't on the Switch. <laughs> Man. Ah, that's what's up here. Okay, well. Let me let me see. Can I currently fight this thingy? Hmm. Hmm. 
It's just one creature, so technically all we need is one tank. As long as that tank can hold aggro. Um, let's swipe you out, though, for the murder hobo, just in case. Maybe. Maybe? Oh, actually, no, no, no. Ghost bow Juniper. Leave it to me. She's really good in chain attacks. Now, do I have you set up for aggro? Kinda. And we should have... Okay, so you need to do reduce aggro. Mm. You need to do reduce aggro. We basically all need to do reduce aggro. So that, that the tanks can hold the aggro. There you go. Okay. What is she built for? Increase attack, reduce aggro generated, and critical hit damage bonus. Okay, that's good. It's good. Do I have the combo? We've got a break, another break, a daze, a... What was the shield bash? I don't remember what this shield bash is. Topple? Is that a topple? It is a topple. So we have, we have a basic combo. Kinda. We don't have a launch right now. Hmm. Eh, it's fine. We'll see how this goes. This one's gonna be tight. Focus that attack. Good luck. I need to get behind this thing. Reduce my aggro. Jesus, this thing has almost killed me. We grab the thing that it's guarding. Everyone else is staying in a tight healing circle, that's fine. This is probably gonna be alright. Keep removing our aggro. Yeah, like the uniques are hard. Even if you're above the level, they, they still hit hard. Yeah, I think we got this. They can't really damage our little healing ball there. I mean, the music is really good! Okay, now it looks like they're starting to get hit. Okay, no, they're fine, they're fine. I'm just keeping an eye on, our, on my teammate's health here. I guess we could do a chain attack. There isn't a bad song so far? No, for sure. We will wait for that. Reduce attacker and uh, healer aggro, increase defender aggro. Yeah, attack up. Uh, we want to do the liberation arrow. Liberation power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's do you. 
I think you have to be in the Ouroboros form and then do the chain to get the Ouroboros. But I don't want the Ouroboros right now. Because if you do Ouroboros, you only get two chain attacks. Boom, got him, Dasasti. <laughs> yeah, the level 3 kind of seems bad. You only get two. Wait, she's the one that got put back to action? Oh, no, I wanted, um... I wanted her. Oh, shit. Because... Uh, Juniper keeps adding to our damage bonus the more you activate her. Oh well. Did you know that the positioning for skills like side attack don't matter in chain? Uh, yes. Cool! Mm, now we want to do... Oh, none of these. Uh this is fine. This is fine. We need to get Nora Bros here soon. Oh yeah, cool, we got a Bravo, very nice. Oh uh, yeah, we got a second Cackerel hero. She is an archer. Hey, we already got the overkill. Nice. Bravo! Well, we're not done yet, then. Let's go with the bombshell blitz. After this, we should be getting the Ouroboros. Or is it going to end here? Maybe it's going to end here, actually. I still don't understand why she does a slow turnaround. I'll never understand that. There it is. Okay. You want to activate her again for more damage percentage buff. Okay. Uh, we want to do the two medics. You're in for it now. You're done. You're done. She's doing a little dance over me. It doesn't make sense to do a little dance in the battle. When we end with Tyon. And then Ouroboros! The turnaround is part of the Kudo tradition. Is is it tradition in, in battle to do a slow turn and then fire? Or is this like the art of Kudo? Which the art doesn't belong in a fight. The art is a separate thing. Oh my god, 1,369,000. What the fuck? <laughs> what the? The art? Okay. Well, the art doesn't belong here. Is there a good use for that? Though it's cool. That was a lot of damage. In case you don't know, that was... That was a lot of ridiculous damage. Was that a war crime? Probably, somewhere. It has to be, right? Yeah, I said that's a lot of damage. You had a friend who did Kudo, actually? Okay, I mean, that's listen, that's cool. I have no problem with Kudo. Is this, like, a rare thing? I can appreciate the martial arts and the art of the martial arts. 
I'm just saying you don't want to do that in a fight. Like, it just looks silly. But as an art form, it's cool. Well, actually, as an art form, slowly turning around in a circle before you fire also kind of seems a little silly. But you know what? I'm not going to trash it. Should we get some flex seal then? Wait, what? Is <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help that uh, bird. Do we level up any of our classes? Ah. This one is now maxed out. So she has all the healers maxed out. But I feel like I need to keep leveling her up in different things. Fencer. And then I'm gonna ham again. Try that. Know my memes? There are too many memes to know all the memes. I don't spend enough time on the internet to know the memes. Mm, you're almost there, but we need another healer. Shit. Support you. Got it. There you go. Yeah, we need more healers. Oh shit, she's maxed out. Well, war medic for you then. There you go. Alright. Oh, hey, Rose is playing Xenoblade you know, like Chronicles. Like so. And then here and. Time to take the fast way. So scary. Oh, hey, it's that bunny! Let's go kill this bunny! This piece of shit bunny would kill me. Or this capybara. Get broken. Alright, this class has a smash. So th theoretically... Oh, no, no, we don't have a launch right now. Because I don't have the Murder Hobos class on. But if I give some of the Murder Hobo, then we have an actual full smash combo now. But we would need to build up um, our talent bar. I don't know what art follow-up means. But it's a buff, so I'm sure it's good. It evaded. Ow. I'm a pelican? What? The combat looks very slow. Does it? I mean, it is a JRPG. This isn't an action RPG. But I'm also fighting uh, one of the tougher enemies. Noah is almost dead. We do have a chain attack. I'm gonna use a chain attack before it kills me. The moves themselves? That's 38. 41. Oh 
she got 48. The characters feel slow. Well, again, this isn't a this isn't a double may cry. It kind of looks like a Monty Python bunny if the bunny was on steroids. Mm, which one do I want to do? Get shot in the face. Drugs again? What? Oh, nice. Good reactivation. Um, if I want to do an Ouroboros, I don't know. I, I think I'll have to go for Bombshell Blitz. Yeah. I have to. We could have got lucky and been able to do two more, but... If I went the other way? At least this is a guarantee. There it is. All right, start with you. Do your little spinny. Do the Nico Kudo dance. The mom's on steroids. I'm just saying, if it was the tiny bunny grown up to this thing, it'd have to be on some crazy shit. The chain attack does feel kind of slow, though. I'll say that much. There's like some delays between activations and stuff that could be taken out, if possible. But overall, it's fine. Overkill. Not quite a million, only half a million. I didn't have tie on for the chain attack. This was a nice fight. Poor guy was knocked out. But revenge is ours. The capybara of cuteness is dead. And we proceed onward. The chain attacks in one and two definitely fell quicker. I feel like they were. Which is kind of crazy because Xenoblade 2's chain attack can go because you could do. Because you had to do. Combo, 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 create orb. Combo, 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 create orb. Combo, 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 create orb. You had to create like six orbs, and then those six orbs then allowed you to do like a super orb or some shit. How come the annihilation thing ain't happening? I couldn't begin to guess, but I'd say the castle has something to do with it. That's a lot of ether down there. Oh! Some random no pun on this floating island. Bit bit. I'm gonna get Bit Bit's little no pawn stone. Okay. Always nice to see a new face. If friends are going to castle, be sure to make proper preparation here before depart, okay? Entry of caravan to castle is forbidden, friends see. So final chance of friends for big old shop. Bye 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 bye. I will not. Bye 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 bye. But I did want to show you wait. I can't fast travel here, right? Yeah, okay. So way back here, um, when I was grinding for classes, oh wait, there's a quest here? Oh shit. There's a quest here? Oh shit. Um, I went through 
Let's see, where did we go before? We went through here for the storage mission, which took us here and then into like a series of caves that went down. Well, I checked out another tunnel that went over to the left, and you can actually climb up to, where would it be? Mm. Oh, here we go. The distant fingertip. And you climb up one of the claws, which is pretty cool. So we're actually at the tip of um, one of those claws that we saw like 20 hours ago. It's pretty neat. And then there's colony four down there. Yeah. I saw it was kind of cool. Because if you go through the cave and finish that, you end up in this like kind of foresty part, which is down there. And then you can just, you, you do a long climb. Uh, down at the base of the finger. You can see like the riveted um, wall. You climb up that and then you just get up here. And it's, uh, it's a secret area. When you make your way all the way up to the top of the finger, it's like, hey, secret area revealed. And then you can just look out there. And right now, we are now on the other side of this giant um, head. So the part of the mountain that is missing is basically right on the other side of this mountain range in front of us. That's where we just came from. That's that's where we're currently at. Yeah, it was kind of cool. You can just climb up here. And now you're on the fingertip. And then, of course, you can just jump down to this place. I think it's the only way that you can access this little lake. Nothing really crazy is at this lake, but, you know, it's still cool. And you just be like, wee! There we go, wee! Hope you're not afraid of heights. There it is. Um, I think there's just a container over there, and then maybe the materials here in this lake are unique to it. I'm not entirely sure. But then, this will then dump you off to, like, one of, I think, actually, the first rest spot of the game? It may be the first rest spot of the game? Or one of the first rest? No, one of the first rest spots of the game. First rest spot, I think, of this area. Where we needed an oasis. So I think that's just kind of cool. That's where it dumps you off at. Dumps you off of the oasis. Yeah. This is kind of neat. Just want to show that. Pretty cool place. Um, but yeah. So like, if you go through, instead of taking a left when you're going to that mission for the storehouse, you just keep going down this this wall, go through the cave. This eventually goes way back to the beginning of the area. But then if you take a left, you just kind of go... Actually, I think there's more over here, now that I think about it. Let's, let's travel here. Oop. Let's travel here. Yeah, this is what this place looks like. So you're at the base of all these giant claws. Some, like, odd luminescent trees. Little luminescent bulbs. The way to climb up the that claw is right over there, and there's more this way. I don't know what's over here. Level 51s are over here, apparently. Well, hello. You're having to fight every monster in the cave so you nope, noped out? I needed to fight every monster in the cave because I was grinding lo um, class levels. And there's even, there's a, um, in that cave system, there is a unique lizard man surrounded by his boys, which was uh, a little difficult. Little lizard bro. Let's test out one of these level 52s. Someone tell you how much uh, you've explored in the map? Uh, it probably keeps track of that. I haven't seen it specifically, but I wouldn't be surprised 
If there was. Yeah, I thought this place looked cool. It may look cooler at night because of the luminescent bulbs. Actually. Hold on. You can't... <laughs> It looks a little cooler because then you see like the the mists, Gotta the glowing bulbs. Going. But imagine this was on like the PC, uh. developed for the PC. Oh my God! Think how it could look. Think, think how it could look. They've done amazing work with the Switch, for sure. Elites may wreck me here. It's possible. They're higher level than I am over here. And I don't exactly have like a, a min-maxi party. I just have like a whatever party that's just leveling up their classes. Alright, Calum Ferris. I am almost dead, Jesus. Hello, Vandalier, welcome. Nice. Ah! That is a big fucking pair. My god. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do. Is this like a rare thing? Uh, the game's going good. We're just exploring a place I haven't explored before. You think you're all that cool, uh oh. I think it was pissed oh, off that I took the pair. Thing is days. I can't take the level 80. No, that's we can't do that yet. <gasps> level. Actually, I don't really want to level. I'm just here exploring. Not to worry. Stick to the plan. We'll just run. It's a big drop. Ooh. Not that I really need ether, but still. I'll just soak all this up. You wish you could stop leveling but level a class? That would you know not many games. There are not many games that I would want that, but this is one of them. Because if you do explore and side quests along the story. Oh, they're talking to each other. Um then you will be over leveled. Like, I haven't touched my bonus experience stuff for a while. Uh. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one. This is gonna be a hard one. Not quite a unique, but it is still an elite. And it's four levels higher than us. We may not be able to do this, actually. Mio's almost dead. And she's our tank. Not good. Oh my god. 
Did it just fart on us for 1500 damage? Oh god. Yeah, four levels and an elite, this may be too much. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. Follow me. Yeah, let's fight. Oh God, is this still ch it's still chasing? Okay, okay. Well, we know what's over there. I oh, know there's no downside for losing now. The game is very forgiving. This is not a Dark Souls. We don't know what lurks in here. Be careful. I mean, we we now have a little bit of an idea of what lurks in here. Dark Souls is also very forgiving? Mm, I mean, it's less forgiving than, th than this game. You can always level and never get stuck. That's true. At some point, though, you do need to have skill to, to play those games. But being able to level does help. We got a container, and there's another cave. I wonder if this ties back into the other cave system. What would you say is the most unforgiving game? Okay, this does tie into that system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So we have been down here before. Kenshi? <laughs> Is it? I'll just soak all this up. Are you still playing that? Unforgiving in which sense? Uh, I don't know. Just unforgiving, I don't know. Path of Exile? It'd be rude not to. 
What? Oh, there's a there's a thing down here. Noah's already dead. That's probably not good. Mio, you need to get some aggro. Oh god. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hmm. Nah. I'll come back to that. We could beat it, but I'd have to adjust my party, and I just want them to level up right now. But now we know that there's legendary in there. Or unique. Whatever they call it. Okay, now we know what this what this is. Let's go back to the main mission stuff. Tank to your job. <laughs> yeah, Dark Souls, especially when Demon Souls Dark Souls first came out. Yeah, it was very tough. Oh, do I have that many Nopon coins? Oh, I didn't even know I had that many Nopon coins. Uh, I guess I can spend some. Yeah, I guess I do. 99. Shit. Uh, okay. Well, let's go... here... to the... Sage. Kingsfield is super hard. Yep. But also it's clunky. What kind of makes Kingsfield games hard is is its clunkiness too. So not all of its difficulty lies in it being intentional. Though even without the clunkiness, it is still hard. But the clunkiness definitely makes it harder. So you want to go to Seek Seek? Let's I never played any of the Ninja Gaiden games. Oh, we would need 99 gold. No pawn. Okay. I mean, they kill you five seconds of the game. I, listen, I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing with you here. I'm saying Kingsfield is hard. I remember there's a spot like very early on in the game where if you just walk on a slightly different colored patch of dirt, it's a trap that kills you. But I'm saying on top of the on top of it being hard, it is also super clunky, which makes it even harder. Unblocking boost recharge of one art at random by 10%. That's not... That's not bad. Yeah, let's grab this. I was like, listen, this game is hard. And then Rose is like, the game is really fucking hard. I'm like, I know I'm agreeing with you. She said that you're like, yeah, I know. But it's... I need... like, I'm on your side here. Hundred percent chance to survive a KO with one HP and five seconds of invincibility. At the start of a chain attack, increases TP by ten. Hmm, that's actually pretty good too. But do I want to use that in one of my accessory slots though. The rigid support is nice. I think we'll just save up for the memory locket maybe. But, hmm, I just don't know if I need that thing that I bought right now. But we have it now.
do 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 Look at all there that ether. Just sniff all that up. Too. A few enough numbers to sneak around. Is Colony 4 gonna be safe? Do you think? They should be okay. We haven't seen the light for a while. I think that's a good sign. Let's move. No the fact that we killed consoles must be old news at this Hey, my Kamiko, thank you for the reset for Could six months. Of a few people by now. Thank you. Hello. They ain't expecting us to sneak aboard, though. We've got them with their pants down. Let's get in there, mess them up, get out. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Actually, they may have already anticipated our moves. Nah, mate. Come off it. Think about it. How would they have known where we'd be? Uh, can't be a coincidence. I mean, sure, it could have been intuition on Ethel's part, but we have to be realistic. So it's a trap. You want to turn back? No. We'll go. We can't turn back now. We can't allow their deaths to have been in vain. So you would entertain the risk? It does sound bad. You know, I think I kind of like it. Yeah, I love the idea of walking into a trap we know about. Oh hey, this is only the second time we've seen this lady. We've never seen her face. We saw her pigtails once when Van Damme died and she went to go collect his dog tags. That was, you know, 55 million hours ago. And then we see her now. She must be important. I think the pigtails tells us that she's probably a kid. Because I think they usually put pigtails as like a child feature. Push this thing here and So is she the child of Van Dam? And that may be a revelation to these people because this person, this character we're seeing, this pigtails, was actually born, not raised in a tube. So maybe she's one of the first humans that isn't tied to um any kind of flame clock and stuff like that? That's my guess. If I was making this game, I would have that be uh, a thing that these characters encounter. A human that has that's actually been born and not grown. So that's that is my Nico guess. Look at all these little capybaras. That reminds me, I saw, like, I, I, I've i seen a ton. We, we, we've all probably seen capybara videos, but, like, they're just always so good. There was this capybara hanging out this tiny little pond, and there were these ducks just coming up to it, like, this, like I don't know, thing? searching its fur for worms or some shit? I have no idea. They were just, like, clipping its fur with their beaks, and the capybara did not give a fuck. It was just sitting there, eyes closed, like, ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't care that these ducks are <laughs> pulling my fur. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm a capybara. And to, to just be able to, to be at that level of chill and not give a fuckery. Very envious. Oh, I think I missed on chat. It just reconnected me. Oh no, I'm sorry chat. I don't think I've seen anything since Rose talked about the old first person might and magic games. Looks like you were right, Noah. There's a whole bunch of containers here. A welcome gift for easy sneakings. Let's go over this again. First, we get to those containers without being spotted. With me so far? Anyone spots us, we're like ninjas. We take them out quickly and silently. You were not pouring your heart out. Once we're inside, we pick the right opportunity to proceed through the hangar. 
Our goal is here. The maintenance hatch that leads outside. From there, we head to outer deck. Right. Enemy presence should be lower around there. Then we move to the main housing. Assuming we get there, how do we trash it? I can brief you on the next steps. We are definitely ninjas. After analyzing the data we got from Boliaris, I discovered a flaw in the Annihilator's construction. An exhaust port? A weak point? Indeed. Here. The weapon is designed to temporarily render the black fog inactive, condense and collect it, then release it in one blast. Hmm. Our best bet is to destroy the neutralizer assembly from which it draws its power. But it's located in the castle interior. Getting there will be no joke. Once there, we'll need to damage the autobalancer in the barrel's housing. Most likely, it was built in a hurry. The movable barrel is affixed to this outer ring that you see here. But the ring isn't strong enough to take the barrel's weight or absorb the recoil. That's why the autobalancer was added after construction, as an afterthought. So what? God, how we do we know all smash this? That thing to pieces. Smash it, and the entire ring begins to fall apart, and the barrel collapses under its own weight. How strong is the autobalancer? Not too sturdy? Nothing Ouroboros can't handle. So, what's this thing? That is a refrigeration unit. The barrel needs vast amounts of energy. It would have to be kept cool at all times to keep the energy in check. I'm surprised it's so huge. Seems that was built quickly too. It's got both bulk and heft to it. They probably couldn't have made it any smaller. Hmm. A rush job, huh? Okay then. We all good to go? Yeah. No more taking it easy. Let's make this happen. Aye, aye. Gotta be all sneaky uh, no, I'm playing on a, a monitor. My my switch is docked. Let me check. Look at all this ether. These are level 36. Oh my god. I mean, Ethel did a lot of good recon. Apparently. I don't know if you can even... Can you even stream from a Switch if it's not docked? Because, like, I have to connect it to the dock to actually be able to stream it. Because that's where all of its ports are. I suppose I could rig up a camera. And just like get footage of the screen from the camera. What do you mean, who's this other Surreal? Is that a reference? Are you talking about like Surreal Beliefs? Time for a climb. There's probably more people out there named Surreal than just one person, would be my guess. In fact, if you go down the Markiplier route, I think there's like millions of them. I know this because for some reason my Twitter gives me all of Markiplier's fans post randomly. They're like, uh, Heftiplier, uh, Dark attire, mark like tons, and I'm always like, "Why are you on my Twitter? I don't understand this." Like I've I've ne I've never once watched a Markiplier video. I don't follow him on Twitter, and yet 
I guess just because he's he's so um, influential, I guess. Maybe Twitter just feeds me posts about him all day, and I'm like, I don't. I what? We can't just leave this. Place. I have no problem with the guy, but why are you why are you feeding me posts about fans talking all day about Markiplier? So I have seen more of Markiplier's body than I ever cared to, because always just like some random fan will get a picture of him like in a swimsuit or some shit, and then it's on my fucking feed, and I'm like, what are we doing here? Not to worry, just stick to the plan. Eyes over here. Cheers, you're a gem. Go, quick roll. I'll keep up the attack. We'll keep them in check. Eyes over here. Thanks. You just get waifu posts. I get those too. You don't have one toke swimsuit pick? I mean, those, those picks exist. I just don't put them on the internet. Because then I'll just get creepy people posting that fucking picture all over the internet on Twitter. Like, I want to touch his abs or some shit. I'm like, no, I don't want. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I'm not calling you creepy, I'm saying the people who do that are creepy. I'm, you should thank me, I'm not giving you a chance to be creepy. That's why, like, I don't want anybody to know where I live. I don't want anybody to know what I look like. I don't want. I don't want any of that shit. I have just heard too many horror stories. Not that I'm on the same level as a Markiplier, obviously. Are our health bars even moving? These people seem to be doing no damage to me. Oh my god, yeah, I have seen, yes, I, I, yes. Silver, I have seen a body pillow of Markiplier. And I think other people too. I didn't want to see these things. Buying a body pillow of Garrus is fine because Garrus is a fictional character. I don't ever want to see real people on a body pillow. Uh, yeah, apparently the ether. This is the first time I've reached the cap. But apparently it caps out at, at 99. A Jenkins body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> the music. Oh, 
Hey, so thank you for the reason for 41 months. Thank you. You know what? I don't think there's any character I like enough to want to put a body body pillow of them, personally. Maybe I'm just not like a body per body pillow type of, type of guy. What about Garrus? I mean, jokingly, I'll say yeah, but like rea realistically, no. Also, not even jokingly, Garrus is my bro. He's not someone I want to fuck. I can understand people wanting to fuck him. Garrus is very fuckable. But for me, he's just my bro who drinks beers out in a. I don't even know where they drink beers at. Over a. What even was that they drink beers at? In number three. You know, drink a couple beers, do a couple snipes. We're talking about body pillows, son. Real bros fuck? Mm, I don't fuck my bros. <laughs> All right, chain attack. In all honesty, they're really comfy to use. Sure, like the actual concept, like I, I would, you know, I would use a body pillow. I just don't want to put anybody on the body pillow. There you go, over bridge in the middle of the citadel. Yeah, that's that's what they drink. I don't think there's any way that I can guarantee getting Juniper back. Be so hot though if guys like kiss more, just friendly kisses. What? I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of guys who kiss each other, but what? Mm, who do I want to go with here? That would open up the Ouroboros. I don't think we're ready for the Ouroboros yet. Wait, you would fuck a printless body pillow? No, I'm not fucking any pillows! Do so much damage, but the Ouroboros, though. Ah. Yeah, 
There we go. I feel like Juniper just adding more and more percentage damage is just so good. Mio and Sen and Suit design. I don't hate any of the designs of the mechs, but they're not the type of mechs I like. But I don't hate them. Which is good. I like the mech designs of like those things more than our characters. I'm curious what this big fella is. Oh, it's not even a unique or anything. But it's a big boy. <laughs> Can I beat the big one? I mean, easily. It's not even a, an elite. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that, Renix. Enemies with such HP sponges? Well, I mean, again, this is a, this, this is a, this is an RPG. <laughs> if they died in like two hits, this wouldn't be an RPG. This would be more like an action RPG. Oh, Jesus. That attack looks cool. I think it's dead. Oh, did they say that, Rose? I think I ignored it because I knew that there wouldn't be any trouble because we're 10 levels higher than this. I don't know why I even clicked on this one. I'm already full. True. I mean, I, okay. Theoretically, I should always have a combo among my characters. We should always have a break, topple, uh, daze, launch, smash. But I'm just trying to level them up in different classes. And, like, it doesn't really matter right now if we have the combos. Hear that? They're going to the castle. Let's hide in that container. I mean, I can set it up so that we have a combo. Do you want a combo? We can get a combo. Damage doesn't really matter since you're 10 level. Yeah, I'm like, that's kind of what I thought too. But if chat wants the combat to go faster, I'll just set it on easy mode and set up combos and I'll hit auto attack or something. So, where's the maintenance hatch? It's in the reserve area on the upper level. Don't we all have access to this map? First, 
We'll need to take the elevator that can get us up to that floor. Why is Tyne the one that has to talk about all this? Can't she just be like, let me open up map? Ah, oh, there it is. Too foggy for taste of banana. If we're gonna move, now's the time. That said, we are indoors. Move fast, but keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, of course. We've never been here before. <laughs> oh, we auto sold the ether cylinders. That's interesting. I didn't know we would auto sell them. At least you get something. Very All right, we need to set up a combo. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so let's set up combos. Combo breaker. So this class, uh, I believe it has a skill where um, they do more damage to launched characters. Mm, yeah, boost damage to launched enemies. But also he does have access to a topple. Not a guarantee topple though, because this one's gonna be on cooldown at the start of the fight. But it's something. She has maxed this class out that also has a tapel. Mm. But instead of leveling her up somewhere else, we'll keep her this because she can just do the topple. We'll need a break. Who has a break? Okay. Mm. Who has breaks? I'll take the offensive. Does the ogre have a break? No, the ogre does have a launch. But who else? Wait, who has the gear? Oh, we need the murder hobo. Okay, hold on. Nothing's getting past me. Murder hobo has a launch. There it is. Okay, so we got a launch. We got a topple. Mmm. We still need a break. Hmm. Maybe I'll switch this guy. To... Just the basic sword fighter? That has a break? Canceling boost damage dealt. Flex break on enemy side. Have's own aggro value. We'll do. Hmm. Aerial slash. Oh, oops! I added on this one. Aerial slash. Aerial slash. Attacks become unblockable and damage dealt is boosted by twenty percent. Hmm. Giant, giant swing? swing. Increase crits. Lower aggro. Increase attack power? Well, nah. Okay, and then for skills, we want uh, some crit stuff if we can, boost physical damage is good, critical strike is good, boost recharge speed by 40% when non-defenders are targeted, that is interesting, but no, 40% chance to evade range attacks, uh, you yeah, know, sure, yeah, put that on there, that's fine, okay, and then accessories, you boost general attack damage. That's fine. Boost dexterity. Mm, I mean, he's probably going to hit a lot. Boost critical rate by 22%. By 12 percentage points. So there you go. 30% chance. So that's good. So he's set. Right? He's set. She... Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. 
Actually, I think this should be here. So we'll taunt them and we'll bind them. We'll shield bash them. And then if she does a fusion attack, we'll also throw uh, glow ring. So this is essentially if she fusions this, there'll be another taunt. And then she'll protect herself, and if she fusions, she can also put people to sleep. Hmm. Actually, not what I would really want, though. Hmm. No love no lost. Give him a physical debuff. Okay, Murder Hobo has the launch. That's... That's... That's fine. While artist active evades enemy attacks at the cost of low critical rates. Uh... Heal nearby allies when art hits. Her healing power is 24, so she would heal for 24, which is not much. Not much at all. Ether defense down. Hmm. You know what? Sure. Soaring Tempest, that's fine. Jaws of Death. Giant Swing. It's okay, I think. That's okay. Uh, he does not need to be the ogre. So I'm just gonna make him be... I'm gonna make him be. Who you be? I think you just be the Stratagos. And then we switch you back to... Like, if we're really building a team here... Really building a team here. Hmm. 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 Sorry, I'm not paying attention to chat. Sorry. Um, do characters have all the same stack growths? Oh, probably not. I actually haven't even looked at that. My guess is that you want to keep them in the classes where they are uh, best attuned. Yeah, good point. Good point. Hmm. It's like you wouldn't want him to be the gummy guy. Gummy bear bouncing here and there. Let's just have you be the ogre. Oh no, no, she's the ogre. You line him up, I'll knock him down. You could be a war medic. Support you. Got it. But do I have the combo though? We have a break, we have a topple, we have a launch, but I need a daze? Right, because it's daze into launch. God, I always forget this. Hold on. When enemy is toppled, hit him with an art that has the day's reaction for the duration all attacks will be... It's topple into launch. Okay, so it's break, topple, launch, smash. That's what we're voting for then. So we got the break, we got the topple, so now and we got the launch, so all we need now is a smash. So the smash is the um 
Fencer. Is the fencer. So you know what? You do this. Now, unfortunately, it's our only smash that we have available, and it's also on a talent art, so that's not the best. But it'll be fine. Buff stuff with power charge. Increase critical rate by 75% when attacking from the side. And a bleed. Let's get rid of the bleed. Boost damage dealt from 120% when attacking from behind. Hmm. Do the one where you're attacking from behind. Boost auto attack and arts speed also raises damage taken by 25%. That's fine. Attacks become unblockable and damage is boosted. We'll throw that there. This gives you a chance to evade. Hmm. Definitely do not want a target lock. We'll do the evasion. Aerial slash. Okay. Boost damage dealt by physical arts by 40% is fine. Deal damage when you evade an attack. She's not really. I don't think she's super evasive though with this class. Accentuation of buff effects issued by self by 40%. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. We have two buffs on her. Um, she technically can evade. She does have art that allows her to evade, so I guess I can do this too. That's fine. Accessories. Boost auto attack damage by 83%. I guess is okay? Mmm... Boost damage from behind by 19%. Uh, do I, hmm. No, we should do a critical rate. Yeah, like one of these. Because you are boosting critical damage? Are we not? Oh, is she not in the. Did I not teach you Sword Fighter? Oh, I didn't teach you Sword Fighter yet. Ah! It's fine. Alright, increased healing. Boost power of buff effects issued by self. Sure. Well, no. Well, here. We need reduced aggro. We definitely need that. Dexterity by 25. Let's do critical hit damage bonus. Reduce aggro generated. Shorten an auto attack interval by 20% is... Uh, okay. For you, we definitely want the critical stuff. Yes. And then let me do... When canceling, boost damage up by 40% because he already has a move built into that. So it should make that even stronger. Boost aggro generation, start each battle with aggro, not necessarily needed. Increase block rate by 10 percentage points. Ironclad is not that great anymore. So agility is, uh, is dodge, which she's not going to be currently be doing. Mm. Extend duration of self buff effects, I don't think that works for her. Is taunt technically a debuff? That would be kind of interesting. If it's a debuff, you can extend the, the taunt timers. It's kind of neat. If so. If so. Uh, I guess we just do start battle with aggro. That's, I guess that's fine. I know we're taking a long time, but combos were requested, so here we are building a team. It just it takes time. Now, do we need... Hold on.
Okay. Now, do I need you in our team? Do I need you? Inflicts bleed when art hits enemy rear. Field range effect, medium art follow up. I still don't know what that means. Boost damage dealt when attacking from the side. Boost back attack damage by 30%, reduce aggro draw when attacking. Boost damage to launched enemies. Yes. And I'll give you this. We'll give her a try. Okay. Do exactly as I say. Big responsibility. All right, chat. Well, we got a team. Looks like colony relations have changed. So we're not focused on leveling up classes at this point. So a break. The break did not work. Guess it didn't go through. Thing is dead. We'll focus. We got a break. We'll see if we get a topple. I guess the topple isn't up. Oh, the top of the very end. Nice. <laughs> So cool, we didn't get any any combos. They just didn't line up. Because my first break did not proc. And the other characters probably then used all their combo abilities. They weren't off cooldown yet. Also, we want to do smash combo specifically. They resisted my break again! You idiot! Don't resist me! I just spent 10 minutes making the freaking team! Whoa! My switch about to blow up. That was my switch blowing up. No topple. No, not your PCs. That was the switch. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Oh, there's two containers over here. Okay, well, let's try another combo. Res it keeps resisting the brakes! Stop resisting! I wonder if mechs just have a high resistance to breaks. go. Can we get toppled? Oh, focus. 
Can we get a launch? Ah, oh, Murder Hobo, why? Where's Murder Hobo? Ah, she already used it. There's the break. Launch. The launch miss. I just want to show off a combo. Well, theoretically, the team works, but these things keep resisting our our combo. But now my launch isn't up. Murder hobo champ? <laughs> I mean, we're not using the actual murder hobo, but we could use the actual murder hobo. But I like Juniper. I like. I just like her um, armor. Give me all that. No, I like cat girls. I played a cat boy in Final Fantasy 14 for over 100 hours. Did you see the unique? Uh, I did not. Guessing it was over here. Ah, level 41. The longer we fight, the more we risk I don't know if I ever actually uploaded that to YouTube or not. Hey, we got a launch! We're not gonna get a smash though, because the smash is an ultimate. But we did get the launch. Launch! Yes! They fly! Then <gasps> there's the smash! Okay, so the smash was up. Nice. You don't watch YouTube, so no clue? Well, how could you not watch literally all of my thousands of videos on YouTube? How dare you? I honestly just don't remember. I think I think I did get most of it on YouTube. I remember making the thumbnail for it. I did upload it? Okay. We got focus. We gotta get the ads first. Oh my god, Lance dead. Did we get a topple? Shit. Are we gonna even live? Oh no! Nice, okay. There's another little one? Oh, this little dude!
There we go, there we go. It's down to one. <laughs> okay. We did this just to freaking live. Uh, there is Sleep Kilroy. I think that's like the only crowd control I've seen. Probably just a chain attack. Oh, okay. Oh, did you just ask me? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Sassy. Damn, twenty six thousand. Actually, I should probably be doing the combo. We should be breaking him right now. Didn't break though. Nice. Raise up our damage. Do the do the twirl. Mm. Get some healing done. Mondo, cool. Alright, now we'll do... You. And do the twirl. Point limits. And then the Ouroboros. And then it's probably going to wipe my party. So activating her was four times. That's what two hundred percent additional damage we're all dealing because of her. Our damage is times a thousand right now. Damn. I was hoping we would get like, you know, the million.
We'll let Mio take the damage here for a little bit. the deaded the Mio Celeb. Nice. Is this like a rare thing? It's crazy how hard they can still be even though we're so higher level than they are. BBGG. Do, do, do. We should gain access to the elevator platform if we operate the controls. Do, 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 do. Let's get it done. Colonies with me on the job. No breaks. Trying to keep the aggro. He missed a break, it looks like. I've been target locked. Someone top of this thing? Yes. Let me launch. No, someone dazed him. You son of a bitch. I mean, that's fine too, I guess. Is there a way that I can just set up what um, combo we're going for every time without saying it here? Conquered. Wait for the topple. Wait for the topple. It did. They're dead, Jim. It'd be rude not to. Her gym dead. Shut up. Break is a move only about three classes have. Yeah, actually, I should mention it. I think right now, yeah, yeah, it's pretty low. Yeah. Gonna blast them into next week. I'm ready. Let's do it. Star Trekking the song. I don't know if I'm familiar with that. Get launched. It's so good. Star Trekking? Hmm. I hate enemies that can't gauge the odds. Guard blocker. 
Get launched. Huge room, Jesus. Star Tracking is 15 years old. Holy crap. Do we ever make it to the city? To Sword March? No, 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 we're not there yet. Is that? Is that storage area three? He's a good spot to catch up with. Interesting little thing here. Master of the puppets, to pull on your string. I'm stuck. Got or underneath? is there another city you're talking about? I am curious. How much bonus experience do I have? 81,000. <laughs> I won't use it. I'm sure that's a couple of levels. Mm, collectible boost. I wouldn't mind the CP boost, but I don't want the experience boost. Hmm. Enemy Golden Collectible? Yeah, but I have a lot of bonus experience. If the game ever gets hard, I can just press a button. There we go. So if you get told at the start of the game to go to a city, but then we still haven't made it after 40 hours. Yep. Are we all ready to fight? Yep. Is that? They're on us. Orders? Demon Slayer! Her. Noble they Core! They set up for a fall! Good job! Fly, you son of a bitch! Took over feels like a challenge. A Remove, yeah. yeah. See if we can keep this up. If I ever feel challenged, take off the waiting clothing. Yeah, yeah. Become the Goku. Ah, oh, missed the launch. Sad days.
Yeah, I, I'd assume that the max level is 99. That's pretty common for... For JRPGs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, boo, how's it going, man? Oh. Two. Oh, God. Fighting two uniques at the same time? Oh, boy. That would be rough. Gonna blast them into next week. That'd be really rough. Just woke up, got two days off. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, you can play so many games in two days. Speaking about games that, um, we're getting pretty close to the... What do they call it? Infinity? Not if that's Infinity War. Um, Infinite Empires? Infinity Empires? Uh, <laughs> Immortal Empires, that's the word. You know, Total War Warhammer, Endgame, Infinity War. Directed by the Russo brothers. Yeah, we're Carl front sub all the electric house. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Is that out or like a beta? Uh, it's going to be in beta at the end of the month. What game do you have planned, Boo? What are you looking forward to play? Yes, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I heard that in the current build that the other YouTubers got, apparently a lot of the multiplayer maps for Domination are broken. So you know it's beta. Wait, I have to fight these two? Nothing planned, might try to finish Elden Ring, but I'm not vibing with the idea of getting your ass handed to you. Ah. There is a lot of ass handling in uh in Elden Ring for sure. Now we can follow the route of I don't know if I can fight two of these. I don't think I can. Looks risky, but we've got this. Never a dull moment, eh? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, we'll see. I can't actually reach the other one. Oh my god, Tyne's already dead. Both of those are out, we gotta go. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. 
Go! Might be more doable if I just had two very tanky tanks. This class is not very tanky. Guys, get ready to fight. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't kill me. I did my launch too early. Very nice. Um, but you could still technically play it though, Rose, on um, Game Pass. So you won't have, obviously, all the actual old races, <laughs> I guess. Can you not even get into Immortal Empires on just three? I know you can't play any of the other races. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember us going over that. Right, right. You can't even play Immortal Empires on Game Pass. That's true. I forgot. Yeah, I remember that rant now. But how that fucked up that is. The outcome is patently clear. This one looking at me funny. The Game Pass Warhammer 3 is essentially like, hey, the first one's free. The second hit, though, you're gonna have to pay for. That's right. Also, the first hit is quite shit, yeah. Oh, they got the full combo. I'm so proud of them. I am so proud. Wait, why didn't she do a smash? Launch! Launch this like a smash! Yes! Hawk smash! Brah! 40,000 damage. Smash is really where it kind of all comes together. That's the damage. But I did also see that they released a trailer for oh, one of the yeah, other new Chaos Swords, so there's that. This Chaos Sword has like a little thing coming out of its back. It's like a little demon thing. Looks very ugly. A Zinch thing, I think. Villith the Cursling. Thank you. Yes, Villith.
Time for a little rest. Oh, village. Sure. That works too. Same for the most part, I'm also not interested in, in Warhammer Fantasy lore. I like Warhammer uh, 40k lore a lot, but the game is a lot of fun to play. Cousin Vinny the Cursling? Oh my god, my cousin Vinny. Thirty-four thousand damage. Fourth one is probably Valkia. I mean, of course it would be. Is that three uniques? What the fuck? Uh -oh. Really? Can we get a launch on that? Oh god! Oh god, they're all on me! They're all on me! I did too much damage! I did too much damage! I don't have another smash! Oh fuck. Oh, we have no we know healers. Wow, you got to fight three freaking units. Agro in Spanish. What? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, we, or we can just go down this hallway. Refreshing rain. I see. So I went down the shit hallway. Leave it to me. Big responsibility. Sorry, I don't do restraint. Never a dull moment, eh? If I don't hate my life, I can go down this way. I don't think I can take on three uniques. That's I couldn't even take on two. I mean, unless I did take off the weights. That's true. But the two mil damage. Uh, attack? There we go. You killed all three of those at level 47? Hmm. I am ever your ally. I don't know if I can. I think it kicked my ass.
Eventually we're going to be getting a break here. Going on to our ultimate here because I'm hoping that we get a smash going. Actually, now it seems like we're not taking any damage. What the fuck? Uh oh. I guess adding that thaumaturge really helped out a lot. How was that? This motherfucker. Chain attack, try to finish this one. I have an idea. It's hit this thing a lot. When chosen, grants 10 TP to all active characters except self. I probably should have done the break one. Oops. Very cool. Mm. Ah, there's the break. There's the topple. I think I already used. Oh no! Wait, no, no. Sin is still there. Oh no, that's a smash. I need the launch. I already used the murder hobo. Damn it. Mondo, cool. Sorry, chain attack steals 7% of damage, does HP up to 200% of healing power. How about no? Overkill. Get some healing done. Get some more healing done! And then we murderize! Amazing! Yes. Good, Anakin. Good. Oh, no. <laughs> no! She got too much TP. Forty-three thousand. Let's kill this tank guy. There we go. Uni.
Uh oh. Need that regeneration. Uh oh. Oh my god, there's another ad? We got another chain tech up. Let's try and kill this guy first. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, this is gonna be a long fight. Can you skip animations as that is like 20 seconds or no? I don't think I can skip animations, no. I don't think. Resist to the break. Well, shit. Like, you see animations like actual, like these things? I don't believe so, no. I do not believe so. I guess we gotta go with lands. Now I get the break. Bravo! How about no damage? Didn't see that one coming, did you, enemy? This thing is definitely dead. Throw the hammer! Ah! 472,000 damage. Alright, one more. I guess adding the thaumaturgs, because that's the only thing that was really different here. It made it the huge difference. Alright, let's focus now.
Oh, I don't have my smash. Oh, they went dazed anyway. Is that calling more reinforcements? Oh my goodness. This fight. Can we get a break combo? Oh my god, even more? Oh, oh, chain attack, chain attack. Chain attack! Jeez! I do think this chain attack does take a long time. I, I, I do agree on that. It is cool, but we, we, we do see it a lot. Is this the break again? Son of a bitch! You did a lot of AoE attacks in your chain? Wait, the chain AoE attacks actually hit the other enemies? I didn't think they affected the other enemies. I didn't know that. Point limits. Yeah, get broke did. Get broke to did. Yeah, son of a murmur. You could probably come back here. Unless this place gets blown up or something. the head I don't think we I don't think we're gonna be getting any million damage here about half a million. Man, that was a long fight. We're still so many enemies. Uni! 
Can you max? Oh no, all of our healers are dead. No. What? After we kill all the hard guys? I can't get him up. The healers are the only ones I can get him up. Not good. Oh my goodness. So, please tell me that they're not gonna respawn. I can't believe we died after all the hard guys were were dead. But we killed all three of the actual hard ones. So we got all the experience in the uh well, the experience. Okay, yeah, no, no, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. That was weird, though. I'm surprised the grunts were able to do what the grunts and the elites weren't able to do together. Oh my god, someone dazed the first, you fools! Uh, attack? Feel it in my bones. Nice. Okay, buddy. Surprise me. I get that reference with the grunts. Mm -hmm. I see. Not what I'm talking about, though. Take that, the black triad. We'll be setting a blink. Huh, what if that's a reference to the black tri stars? Annoying with all those Zubats? What about Pokemon? Funny you should mention that? Why? Why is it funny? What? What is it? Because you just made one? Was that a black tri- Oh, it is a black tri-star, right. Sorry, when I think black tri-stars, I think of them in their dom form. But yes, that's true. Yes, that was a black tri-star. Before, before the doms. Yeah, 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 okay. 
What do you mean, what the fuck? To me, it was just a cool looking Zaku. I, I forgot that it was a TriStar piloting it. I don't even. Were they even called the five TriStars at that time? I can't remember. They were? Okay. I mean, like, cause I, I know what that Zaku is. I, I remember that scene specifically, cause it's a cool scene. From the, um... Oh my god, what's the name of that? That OVA. The one that focuses on Char as he's growing up. Oh my god. So that's where that comes from. It has like black, three black stars on the shoulder. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. It's locked tight. Hmm. Gotta be able to unlock it somewhere. Hmm. You would think. How dare? Listen, I know exactly, like, I, I know what it is, it's just I don't actively think of that as the Tri-Stars at that time, because the, the Tri-Stars were, originally, for years, the Tri-Stars was just one episode for me with that, where they were piloting doms. Truly really insulted? Oh, okay, now you're yeah, just being dramatic. You can't always give 100%. Now you're just being dramatic. We got 17 minutes left. Good enough for me. Clean the clothes. Okay, good as new. Can't forget our progress update. All right, let's get going. Time's okay. wasted. We go further in the castle. The suit did really look good, though. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't locked for long, I guess. I thought this may be something we have to come back to. What? Oh, hello! Poor guys. Wow, this is some view. You said it. This journey has certainly taken us to some incredible places. It has. I almost fell off that. I guess they don't believe in safety railings up here. Riku, see. There is Annihilator. Bigger than Homecoming Pudding! What? That's huge. Think of the firepower. Two or three colonies could, like, be wiped off the map with one shot of that. We have to hurry. If it starts moving now. If the map is correct, the auto balancer should be in that housing. That's what we're after, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wrecking that massive thing is gonna be a job and a half. But smash that auto balancer, and the whole thing comes down. I think the trap's coming soon. Maybe right here. Probably right here. It looks even bigger. 
seeing it up close. Noah, that's the auto balancer. Right. Just like on the map. All right, let's well, interlink then. and let's get destroy it. it. Senna. My pleasure. Oh, no. Sorry, pals. Freda can't let you do that. I'm going to have to kill this guy first. So, been a while, eh? Mobius. How'd you figure it out? Oh, so this is the first guy? You're not too bright, are you? I can't even remember what they all look sure. like. We can't pinpoint your they exact position in front of the black fog, similar. but we can get a general idea where you're hanging out. Once we picked up your reading near the castle, we knew. I mean, what? You were just passing through, were you? You'd have to be an idiot to think that. <laughs> oh, right, he's the one that killed her. Wait, or no, he wasn't with the one that killed her. It's nothing. This guy just does my head in, is all. He very condescending. I couldn't agree more. Let's shut him up then. <laughs> oh, it is the same guy. <gasps> oh no! Yorin's here. You're here too. <laughs> this little piece of shit. Are they gonna merge together and make a Uber Mobius? So that's what you look like. What do you think? Quite the looker, eh? He's got a face. I knew it was a trap. I'm not entirely sure I would say trap exactly. Eh, you'd have to ask N for the details. N. So you took down P and O, did you? Not bad at all. Good riddance, I say, idiots. I mean, going past the time limit while interlinking. Who does that? Dumbest thing I've ever heard. So that really was it, the time limit. Well, since you lot have already tangled with death, we can make this quick. I'm just glad I won't have to explain this. Why even explain? Ah, I see. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Yorn was there the whole time. What a piece of shit. We'll be fine. Just kill him. We've been over this. He has betrayed you. You murder him until he is dead. Ah, the music. Ow. Waiting for the, uh, I guess we're not going to be able to break him. Well, we got the break. Can we get top of launch? Top of launch? Top of launch? You want top of launch, maybe? Topple! Oh, wait, no, I smashed! Fuck! Oh, it's okay. They didn't get the launch off anyway. But now I gotta put that bar up again. I think we should probably just do chain attack.
Da -da -da. Got a break. Can we get a topple? Got a topple. Alright, so we're gonna save her launch for last. Hello, Lena, welcome. All right, launch is full. There it is. There you go, chat. That's what we're here for. And now he is just going to fly for a while. Whee! <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Oh, what? Why? Why is he not? There it is! Whee! We had to restart time. Oh wow! Oh damn, okay. Always be spinning. Mondo. Hello, Zarko. He is still going. Still going. This man will never stop. Jesus. He just like, let me die. <laughs> he is still flying. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck is that? This looks like a bad aura. You probably don't want to be in that aura. Lift that bar. Oh no, I still don't have my smash! No, I don't have smash yet! Ah, uh, The music though, going hard. Get you in the Alright. It is Bob. You know what this guy's gonna do again? He's gonna fly. <laughs> One last time. Oh no, I resisted the break! Oh, no flying. Oh man, that's sad. Oh my god, we didn't get the thingy. Oh, that's bad. So I, I went for a risk here to see if we can get him back and try to re 
start the break without using... Oh no, we got him. No, that's bad. That bad. That's that's very bad. Oh nice, we got a Bravo. That's actually very good. Bravo! Ah, oh, we didn't get the ones that I wanted though. We can do... yeah. <laughs> Attack up! This is the break again, this son of a brip. This piece of son of Merrim Drummer. There it is, overkill. Get out of here, Joran. Get the fuck out of here! Are they gonna have a... another form where they merge with Two other consoles. This is bad, Noah. I see it. No, you don't. What you slacking around for? If you don't hurry, the colony is gonna be on fire. I love when you dominate an enemy and then the cutscene's like, lol, no you didn't. Something about me first. You'll never win this otherwise. Just kill her, kid, please. 
Can we just kill this kid? I don't say that often, but can we just kill this kid? Uh, well then, we'll just have to take out this! Mimi, you gotta keep them busy! I'll do that! What? You thought this was just a fashion choice? These can sense the slightest shifts in the air. Don't tell me how your things work. Even without looking at you. These anime villains always tell the heroes how all their gadgets work. You idiots. Cutting off limbs left and right. Beauty, what are you? Move! If you won't move, let me. Tie on. We did, we just, we, we sent this guy flying for about five minutes in a row. But then the cutscene happened. like a lizard cutting off its own tail. So what happened? All of a sudden he can't like kick through torsos anymore? dead no i shot one of my mondo into their body i sense it's still there i'd say it's likely they got away that right <sighs> uni have you ever met him before as in before we became ouroboros i mean no idea but i think that Something inside me remembers. That guy. 
and his claws. Maybe that has to do with Mobius, too. Why they exist here in our world. Well, then, I've got to know, don't I? And then I'll break free. And it won't have to feel like I'm suffocating. Uni. We can think more later. Right now, we should make ourselves scarce. You're right. We might have destroyed the Annihilator, but we haven't liberated the castle. Hey, the colony relations chain. So they get to live again? Not everything with wings can fly, Elena. Teamwork. Even in our own world. Better give it a good one, Toba. This is our escape route, right? Yeah. Jump in this channel and we'll pop out in the lake outside. Yes, I do still want to run my hand through her fire hair and see what happens. Hello, Gelder. Welcome. Great. We can't go on with this thing in the way. Maybe this channel not connect to outside castle? Weird. This wasn't on the map. So where are we at, right now? Somewhere here in the mid-level? It's okay. If we go a bit further, we can get back in the channel. Might as well then. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. Do, 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 do. It's this Final Fantasy 28. Yes. I think so. Should take us to the channel's upper level. Whoa, check this place out. They're just walking off. Excellent. Just non stop walking off the side. Just like, let me end it. Where are the Kubos? Kubos. Kubos. What's Kubo? Good place to take a breather. This is a good place to take a breather. If I can click on the thing. I've already got food on the brain. Look at this. Oh yeah, you talking about the Koopos? The Moogles? The Final Fantasy Moogles? That was gorgeous. Huh. There we go. Oh, okay, no Moogles in okay. this. The closest thing we get to Moogles are no pawns. But they don't say Koopo, unfortunately. They say Pawn. Teamwork. And meh meh meh. Meh. Meh meh meh. Poison the water supply? I don't know if we have any poison on us. Um, are you sure we're on the right path? Doesn't this feel off? We followed the right route. According to Boliaris's data, we should be. Everything here looks so sumptuous and lavish! Yeah, this looks like we're in the wrong place. Hmm? It's the right path, but we shouldn't be here. What do you mean? Why shouldn't Is we? this like the Queen's Chambers? <laughs> I 
should have known. What are we looking at? This place. I saw an image of it in training. Oh, oh. Shit, we gotta go. Noah, is this where I think it is? Oh my god, video yeah. game just shows what the fuck it is. Okay, thank you. This is not just bad place. This worst is place, heart of enemy base. We haven't been noticed yet. Let's get out of here now. Good idea. What are you doing? We have to go. Noah, what is he gonna? Is he gonna Come see himself on. in one of these pods? He's gonna freak out. He's gonna be like, no, <laughs> no. I'm a pod baby. Is this? Yeah. I barely remember it. But yeah. We gotta go. Also, let's not go. This is the place where we were born. Fuck. This is creepy. Were we ever like that? My skin's crawling. Please, can we leave? All those people. Do you think they're sleeping? Or maybe they're... Wait, is that... It is her. What? Ethel. Huh? It's Ethel. That's crazy. How can it be Ethel? Well, it sure looks like her. But this is definitely a first termer. No, it really is Ethel. From when we first met her. Yeah, no mistake. What do you mean when you first met? What in the spark is this? This is what they taught us, right? That our lives are born from the Queen. You are as well. Huh? Same for you guys. We soldiers are born from the Queen. We fight. And then... To the Queen, you return. Ah, she descends from upon high to mingle with the commoners. I was waiting up there for 13 hours waiting for you to arrive. Queen of Kevas. Malia. You have returned, my beloved soldiers. <gasps> oh. <gasps> A consul. Ouroboros rabble. No, we're not quite to the god killing to yet. to intrude on the presence of her majesty, Melia Antiqua. There's a golden consul? What is this guy? He's not like the other consuls we've met. Mio, be careful. How is this Melia? <sighs> Mio. Uh, How? Sorry. What? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. I'm okay. What? What? I know him. But from where? You're right next to him, right now. Uh, what is the sensation? I have endeavored for countless years to protect and shelter Kevis under my aegis. And now you yeah, she's from one into this world. This grieves me. Come off it. How are we bringing ruin to anything? But how? I seek to deny it. Think upon your actions. Have you? I mean, it is. It's, it's straight up her hair, but like. We didn't have any choice. I didn't think it would actually be no her. It's, even, it's her first and last name. Like, I assume then 
You had no choice but to collude with our sworn enemy. What the fuck? That's why you've been trying to wipe us out. Both us and Ethel's Colony 4. Verily it is said, Urabar abhor this world. You must be erased, lest this world be destroyed. We don't abhor anything. Do you realize how many battles we fought and won for Kebes? We've served you our whole life! <laughs> and now this bollocks! What? Your Majesty! Please! You say you fight for Kebes. That you've served us. Are you certain? Rather, it seems. You have been fighting for yourselves and none other. <sighs> You cling to life in your desperation. That is why you have fought. Unchecked, Uruvaras will lead this world to ruin. Now, by my authority, you shall perish. So, that's it. That's your verdict, then. It is not Her Majesty's verdict. It is the will of the world. It's what? Indeed. The security of this world is paramount. Therefore, Ouroboros, the end is nigh, for you shall die by my hand. Huh. Huh. Well, I mean, this explains why Mia and other people have the blade gems in their chests. It's because they come straight from Nia. And Nia has a blade thing in her chest. But how though? Like, how is... I'm I'm really curious how they are going to explain how characters from the previous games are in this. If you can move a little up, because I need to get there we go, actually this works. Oh the music though. I mean, this is totally, sure, like, this is totally consistent with Xenoblade, but while 1 and 2 are connected, they are still separate worlds. Now, granted, like, it's pretty obvious that two worlds were merged. The worlds of 1 and 2 were merged in this game. But merged by what? There's nothing left to merge them, because the, the dude, the, mm, the force, Behind two, which had that power, is gone. So what remains that would have the power to merge two different dimensions together? Two different, like... The MC of two did make a wish, yeah, and then like all the titans merged together on the continent. But that doesn't explain how the people from 1 merged in with the people from 2. There was a remnant of the original world in Xeno... Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Yeah, but like, that, that, but I, I... I'm missing the glue. Alvin was still around in, in Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Wait, isn't Alvin the one at the end of 2 who then disappears? Well, disappears. That's Klaus.
Okay, because I thought Klaus was the only one remaining. So Alvin is still technically there? Oh wait, no, wait, because Alvin was the, the character in one, right? Alvin, the computer, he was the, he was the guy. He was like the omnipotent dude watching over the two other gods. That's right. And so he still technically exists in the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 1. But Klaus is gone. And Klaus had the power to create worlds. Does Alvin have the power to create worlds? I know he's kind of like somehow more powerful than the other two people. But did he ever create worlds? Sorry, now we're just, now we're just, we're full in the lore right now. I'm trying to figure out how the hell this even makes sense. You have no idea about Alvin. Okay, but we do know that the OG scientist guy, he's gone. Like, he, he's gone gone. So the only thing remaining from our world is Alvin, but Alvin existed in one. When was that? Wait, was when was Alvin in two? Because at the end of that game, I just remember Klaus. He was in the giant room, and like half of him is in like a black hole, the other half is still around, and then he. Poofs. Alvin never existed in. Then why'd you mention XC2? Is it just because you see Alvin technically in the cutscene in XC2? That explained the whole. what happened? Alvin equals Pyra and Malos? Wait, 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 what? Alvin is Pyra and Malos? I don't remember that at all. I remember Al- or, um... I remember Klaus created Pyra and Malos as, like, the two original Blades. Remember how Malos had the Monado in XC2 and how Alvis had a crest on his chest? No, I don't. In XC1, he says some insane thing about being a computer. In XC2, we learned that Alvin was one of the three cores along with Pyra and Malos. Ah. So right now, the only theory that could that could explain why these two worlds are together is Alvin? Because Alvin's the only thing that remains? Pyra and Malos aren't strong enough to merge worlds together. They say in XC2 that Alvin's core was lost in a space-time transition event. Okay, then that has to be what this is, right? This has to be an Alvin thing. There's no other powers out there. Unless there's a whole new power, I guess created for this game obviously outside the consoles I know we have guy with the weird purple shit in his face maybe that's Alvin I don't know. so in theory like evil Noah here could be Alvin sure although I don't think so because I think this Noah is the Noah we see in the beginning of the game who was a kid in the city right There's also the thing that the computer cores were meant to control the conduit? Oh my god. True, okay, yes, the conduit, yes, yes, yes. Because that's how you hear um, the characters in XC1, right? It's through the conduit when you're at the end of XC2. We should probably get back to the video game at some point. I mean, Taco, we're talking about Lorya. 
I'm trying to catch up and, and be reminded so that I can form theories. Didn't the condor blow up with the architect? That's what I thought too, yeah. Didn't it blow up with the architect when he when he died? It just pulled Klaus in, so the condo still exists. Yeah, Pyra and the other girl merged. Yeah, yeah. They used the conduit to merge together. So this is some this is some conduit fuckery happening in this game. I guess if you know, listen, if two girls can merge to make one. Why can't two worlds merge to make one in the conduit? You know, basically the same thing. <laughs> it's <laughs> cheery. Okay, I'll, I'll start. I'll start. Listen, I'll start going through this. So this chain stuff. It's just weird. And then why would why would Melia be the leader of this side, and then Mia be the other side? Unless their memories were wiped when the merge when the world merged. Shows it because they were fan favorites. Well, yeah, actually, you know. You're probably not wrong. Oh, she's already in a dazed state. Oh shit. I can't even launch her. That's unfortunate. So the conduit just like went crazy and then pulled like this fan favorite girl from this world, this fan favorite girl from the other world, and they're like, blah, here you go, you're in this world now. What the, what the fuck? I'm really curious how they're going to explain this. But do we agree that it has to be the conduit fuckery? Oh my god, what if it was? There hasn't really been much, like, you could see some references if you want to see them to Xenoblade Cross. But what if, oh my god, if New LA is just, it's just Sword March, I'll lose it. I don't think it is though, because if New LA was Sword March, then the mechs that we saw when we saw Van Damme would probably look more like the mechs in Xenoblade Cross. And the mechs we see with Van Damme and their stealth tech is, is, is totally different from what you see in Cross. But that would be cool. That would be pretty badass if Sword March is New LA. That is true! Van Damme did actually did have actual assault rifles, which existed in, in Cross. I mean Cross always felt like the odd one out, right? So I'd be very happy if it if it ties into this game. Though there weren't any real tie-ins in Cross itself to 1 and 2. That didn't really exist. Not that I remember anyway. Like, you didn't have any of the conduit fuckery happening in, in Cross. But it is still a Xenoblade game, so, like, they could do anything. Both games had happy endings, so I guess they had to make some problem. Yeah, they would have to, yeah. Yeah, they had to have.
get hit with a big old sword. Sorry, Queen. We had to. We had to talk about some lore. And here we go. We're we're back to kicking your ass now. How's your old daddy doing? Oh, whoops. Too soon, Melia. Do you even remember your father? <laughs> How's it fucked up? She's trying to kill me. Shit talking is allowed. What is this shit? Invincible. Fireballs. Hmm. Seems like she's just toying with us. Uh, hello, Arathon. My guess is that she has a shield that just blocks this technology, right? Like, they made it. They probably have shields to ignore it. Although, I don't know how you block just a giant blunt instrument. Wait a minute, what? What? She's a robot? Her Majesty is a machine. Spark off. What? What? <laughs> that your doing, Queen. You haven't given up your false hope. Very well. By all means, look on. Witness how hollow your hope rings as I slice it all to ribbons. So this is Melia trying to f fight. Maybe. What? Again? Blasted? Why does he make my head hurt? Noah! What's wrong? We're not done yet! Take up your blade! What's going on? Take up the Monado! It is fate. Huh? Fate? Many have tried, but none have ever managed to escape its flow. Wait, that sword. How does he. Numbers? Attach comas!
Yeah, sure. Wait, those Levnesses. Yeah, we've seen one before. Gotta be. Oh, <clears throat> I see. They're taking the uh, the OGs. There's no point in our being here anymore. You're right. Baby thieves. is if you have a character who can block machine gun fire from multiple sources at the same time I hope we don't beat him in like any kind of physical fight because that means he could block and or dodge any blow we give him because he can see it coming because if this man can track and deflect hundreds of bullets at a second then there is literally no one that could touch him the passage of fate how easily it slips from my grasp. You'd have to have like a bomb. Yet perhaps it will come within reach once more. <gasps> Is it Noah? And if it does, what will you do then? Oh, hey, it's uh, it's her. Need you ask? I will give us equilibrium. Also, this man does have just a giant X a on his time chest. Unchanging. Our eternity. Uh, this is Mio. So that's not really a shock. I mean, we can just assume that all of the all of us are out there as Nega versions of ourselves. Can't forget our progress update. Hmm. So the queen is a is a sham, but he did laugh when she broke, and talked about oh so you have hope still, so that means that the queen or Melia exists somehow as like an entity, and Time is not down, on us down with the mercy. sickness. How should we live the days that we have left? What should we spend them on? We saw one possible answer to those questions. But we cannot accept it. Not even as a last resort. After all, it was the only path that was offered to those two. We should all be free to choose our own way. That's our belief. That's why we fight. I don't think the people we saw just there were clones. I think those are the OGs. If they're going to practice shooting handguns, they shouldn't shoot them that way. But, you know, this is an enemy. You gonna hit something or not? Huh? What use is swinging that slab if you ain't gonna swing it at one of the actual targets? But I'm just practicing. Say, why a hammer? Uh. This looks more your style. Look at these guns! <laughs> totally. I mean, honestly, she's not wrong. Right. You should use guns over a hammer. <laughs> It's a main character. Fast Whoa. enemy run. Spark me silly. She beat five eight termers in a row. Mio, eh? She that offseer? Yeah, she should be the one heading to the front lines, not us. Nice one, Mimi! That was awesome! 
Poor eighth termers. You mopped the floor with them. Thank you. Sarah. Here's a cup I pulled from my <laughs> pocket. Hang on. Where's Miyabi? Oh, Miyabi? The commander and consul wanted to see her in command. Oh, okay. Hey, fancy a bite? Mmm. Mmm, sure. I'm a bit peckish. It's a bit early, I suppose. No! If her coffee I'm gets cold, can she just dip her hair into the coffee to warm it up? These are the important questions. Huh? I was under the impression that you didn't like fish. Huh? Ah, uh, that is true. <laughs> but can't be too picky. My muscles need protein, you know? <laughs> hey, Senna. There's no need for this. Huh? Just be yourself. You know you don't have to do what I do, right? N no, that's not. Senna. She, she touched me. Uh, sorry. Come on. You say that too often. You've nothing to apologize for, Senna. Uh, okay. Eat what you enjoy. Never stop being you. Okay? Hello, Agent uh, Zeb. Welcome. Yeah, this game is great. I may be talking shit and, you know, being silly about asking if fire hair can warm coffee, but I, I, I'm still enjoying it a lot. Her hair probably is cold fire, yeah. Unfortunately. Probably can't warm your coffee. said something about doing good or whatever <laughs> that's funny must have just slipped out <laughs> um, you seem so lonely huh what at training in camp at night she's always got friends right by her but why does it seem like she's all alone how come so that's the way you see me huh a loner Senna I was hoping more plucky heroin girl or one track muscle head that's more what I kind of shoot for now look oh no you don't I think you're just being nosy Senna please I'm fine. Really. Don't worry about me. I guess it's Senna's time to have the emotional trauma. We've had Tyon. We've had Mio. Yuffie. Yuffie literally just wrapped up her emotional trauma from being killed by trying to get revenge. And so right after that's over, let's jump right into Senna's emotional trauma. <laughs> You can't do them all at the same time. Only one emotional trauma character at a time. All right. There's a line. You got to form a line behind, behind Senna now. Who do you got left? I guess Noah and Lance. Has Lance had any emotional trauma? I don't think so, right? So he probably still has some coming. 
Can you believe we just had to run all that way? I don't know who they were, but had that force not intervened, I shudder to think what would have happened. What would have happened was, it would have been curtains for us. Usually a strategy is something you're supposed to prepare beforehand. Noah? Oh, Joran, right! Lon's already did have his thing with Joran. So then, it's just Noah left, That's right? After Senna? Uh, I guess we have no more use for castles and queens, huh? We're not going back, I know that much. Nope, we're going forward now. You're right. Forward to Sword March. Let's go. If I take one more step, it's going to be the furthest away from me. Colony 9, I've ever been. Whoa, level 55? Sorry, what? Look, a supply drop. Wait, what? Why is... What? I cannot fight a unique 55. That's not gonna happen. New trauma, who this? That thing has been launched. Nope, I can't fight a unique 54. I can maybe fight a unique 50. Losing to these things, huh? No, I don't think I can beat the 55. I know it's only five levels higher, but those things are tough. Like that, that would be tough if I was level 60, probably. I mean, maybe I can. Maybe. Oh. Is this a new combat song? Conclusion. Please work with me a little. You are. Might as well give it a shot. I'm not gonna be able to kill this 55. Okay, fine. You want to see me? You want to see me get my ass kicked? That's what you want to see. That's what you really want to see. Okay, let's do this. We'll wait for a couple people to die and then I will run away. If we wanna live, we've gotta fight! I'm ready! Divine protection is Can we get a break? You need not looking good. Yeah, there's been kind of a lot, Arathon. <laughs> we're, we're like 34, 40 hours in this game. Let's see, if, if this thing only does the AoE Break thing? Oh, did it topple us? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. This thing was one shot me. I'm dead. Oh, whoops, no, no, stop. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, that hurts so much. Look how, look how little life we've taken down on this thing. It hasn't even got to its pissed off form. I'd have to do like three million damage to this thing. I did not die instantly, that is true. At the very least, we can send this thing flying for a bit. That would be funny. Definitely want to do a launch. Don't want to do that right now. Now we do it. There it is. Thank you, dude. <laughs> At least we got this. <laughs> when will they stop? No one knows. <laughs> so stupid. Bravo! Bad case of the spins. This animal's going to spin to the next dimension. It's like Team Rocket. Shooting off again. Alright, we got fully healed again. That's good. 44,000 damage. And then Spinny Sword! <laughs> Still flying. Ah, uh, fun time's over. Here it comes. Da -da -da. Oh my god. Oh no, don't target me, please. Please. I need to get this regeneration field. And not draw any aggro. Alright, let me go back to the back. Alright, now it got into his pissed off form, which means it's gonna do a lot more damage. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. We gotta get another shit. Oh no! Oh my 
This isn't good. We still got one healer though. Oh no! I did too early because Noah's out of fuck. We can't do the launch then without Noah. Shit, I should have waited just for a little bit longer. I can't do the thing! Chad, I can't do the thing! <laughs> Not game over yet! Not, not yet. Wow, that's harsh, Rose. Harsh. Had one job. Check out what I've got in mind. Right, mind. Yeah, this one was not as good. Also, I really should give Lance a third art. At some point. I don't do these two that often. has 3 million HP? Oh my god. Oh my god! In your in your forms. the break move when we were in the thingies. Oh, that's it. That's it. Both healers are down. All three healers are down, I mean. Fuck, we almost made it too. Oh, that's really upsetting. Damn. Almost. No, I don't, I don't want to try again. Those those fights were too long. Where am I going? Where am I going? 
Head to the Condensa region, reach the Great Sword. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Coward? No, I just don't want to waste everyone's time. Those fights are so long. Up ahead is the Cadencia region. We'll be at the base of the Great Sword before too long. Finally. Oh, we can't avoid it. So be it. Is that to a level 55 so I feel bad? No, I don't feel bad. Do you think this city thing's really real? <laughs> Damn, we're to close to the sword now. Also, I am gonna finally change oh well, we get our third accessories now. Yes, low one. That that one monster is stronger than the queen in the console. Yeah, that is a Makana sword. Yeah. Yes, it is. You can just stay with what you have. Support you. Got it. You line him up, I'll knock him down. You Actually, no, be up, a sword I'll fighter. Okay. And then. Some guys locked in because uh, you haven't met them yet. Can we maybe train? Oh, the practice and the flutes. Uh, hello, Wookie. Is every soldier's duty. Can't forget our progress update. Let's move out. There's a 42. Oh, I forgot to put my third accessory. Shit. Generation fields. We uh, just had a pretty big story moment. Revealed some stuff, got us talking. Some WTFs. Let me get regeneration. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll do a chain attack when we get it lower. Or if we are, oh my God, Noah, what the fuck? Good days. Actually, now maybe a good time because of stays. And the slow. What does what does this look like in the water? She still walks. She walks in the. It's weird. Arrow. Yeah, take that shit. We no longer have the uh, smash combo thing going because I changed classes around. Sword. This isn't the end. You're finished. I don't actually think I like this class that I have him training in, but it is possible that I will use. Like some of its skills or something. It's possible. Let's go you first. Slow turn, and turn, and turn, and shoot. Not eco terrorists. No. No. We are just normal people doing normal things. There's no Mako reactor. No. No. I think we got it. Perfect. Got so many rare doodads. We got all the rare doodads. Let me check. True, yeah, Maka with a K. Mm hmm. Mm, let's just boost your attack, that's fine. And since this is a crit class, we should probably increase our critical rate. Do it again, 53%. Get you some... Get you some physical defense. Oh god, she's wearing like... No accessories, what is this? What is this? Oh. We want you to stack dodge. Sure, when HP is lower, that's fine. Oh. There we 
There we go. Reduce aggro generated. Do not boost your attack. Uh, we don't need this. Just boost it. Boost your dexterity. Does everyone have skills? Okay, everyone has skills. Everyone has all arts. Okay, good. Could that be a path? We don't have to go deep into uh, team building right now hey, since we're so over level. Like a way forward. Right now, we're just trying to level up the classes. Nothing too intense. Uh, yeah. Well, we changed his class. He now has three arts. But yeah, as a war medic, for some reason, he didn't have. All of his arts quit. I don't know why. Stay alert and this plant is in the way. Probably should have waited my overclock buster. Waited for like a topple. Or not. This thing is dead. So the ones with the blue around their name, they're going to give us more class points. So they're going to help us level up uh, the classes that we're trying to level up. <laughs> Nice, we gotta rank up somewhere. Nice. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the kind of keeper. Soundtrack is still bopping. God, I, that sound is she just the worst. This is something decent, right? Uncharted territory always puts me on edge. Oh, we're so close. You a ginormous sparker. Whoa, <laughs> where's the top? A sparker? You finally made it, huh? Quite. <sighs> what is a spark? Let's get to the base of the sword. Guernica told us to come here. There has to be something. Be on your guard, yeah? Because we've really been pushing our luck lately. Whoa. Oh, right. Sparker place is fucked, so that's, that's a big up. fucker. Lance is right, though. Keep your eyes peeled. Which is odd because she has said the word bitch and she has said shit. But I guess they just refused that hard F. It is a Nintendo product, after all. So instead of using a curse word that we're all familiar with, they just use a different word that is a curse word that we're not familiar with. Though they've only said bitch, I think, maybe twice in this game. And shit, just a couple times. What's wrong? Mio? 
I hear a strange sound. Sound? What? What is that noise? Something's wrong here. Noah! Ah, stealth tech. I don't think it's a matter of censure that you can just turn off or on, it's just how they wrote the script. We're gonna surround you now. Don't try to engage us. Wait for us to surround what you first. The? Who are they? Those Levnesses. They're the ones that attacked the castle. Yes, no question. Which means. Pigtails girl. <sighs> what? Mia Mia is the tank here, dude. Why do you do <laughs> why are you standing in front of her? She's the one who's tank. She's your weapon. Is this going to be the girl from one? Is this going to be the sniper the? healer lady from one? We are the lost numbers, sworn enemies of Mobius. What? There are others standing against Mobius. Hmm, hair's different though, I think. The name's Monica. Monica Vandom. The man Monica Vandom. I'm his daughter. You know Guernica. You're headed for the city, ain't you? How do you... That's our base of operations. Come on. What? Shania, take point. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Stay close. I'm 12 years old and I have an eye patch. Monica Vandom. Um, so is this game? Hmm, can I pause it? Okay. So I that's a hard question to recommend this game to someone who hasn't played the previous titles because I uh, so far I think you could play this game and be totally fine. But you would definitely get more from it if you had the previous two. There are a lot of there are a lot of connections. There are more connections in this game than there have been. Like between one and two, you could play those two separately and be fine. Like like ninety nine point nine percent of those games are fine separate. This game is definitely pulling one and two connections like all the time. But at the same time, you don't need to know those connections. The, the story hasn't been presented in a way that requires you to know what happened in 1 and 2. So you can enjoy this so far by itself. I don't know if it's going to be that way throughout the, entire of this, the entirety of this game because of what they're doing already. I'm going to... I'm going, mm, so I can't say yet. I can't say until I put, beat this game. My guess is that there's going to be a point where you kind of are probably going to need to know one and two, but that hasn't happened yet. Oh, true. The eye patch would be because they removed the iris. That's true. You're welcome. Um, Levness from earlier disappeared in sky. Yep. Oh, and before we take you to the city, you have to wear these. Oh, uh, okay. They didn't rip out their eyeballs. They're putting on the eye patches over the iris that is connected to the flame clock so that the Mobius people can't look through your eyes, maybe? Although, although I feel like they can still track you, but maybe if you cover your eye, they can't? 
No, rip your eye out? No, no, that's not what they're doing there. And that's probably why the other people are wearing like a full... I don't, it's not really a visor, whatever they're wearing. Like, it looks like a night vision goggle thingy. Maybe the eye patch is like also block signals. So we're all gonna get some sick eye. Are we gonna get some sick no pawn? Oh wait, no, no, no. The no pawns, they don't have the irises. I was about to say, can we get some sick no pawn irises or eye patches? Wait a minute. Wait, wait. So now we're all part of the. Um, wasn't there a character in one? Was it one? The the, the katana guy? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't the katana guy have an eye patch too? Or did he not? I can't remember. Uh, thanks for the cooperation. We appreciate it. So, I said we aren't hostile, but that might not be enough to earn your trust, I'm guessing. If it lays your fears to rest, you can treat me as your prisoner until we reach the city. Uh, uh... Huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound right, darling. Don't want a prisoner. Whatever, I'll be your escort then. I should point out, you won't find anyone better with a mace in the Lost Numbers. Oh, so she's our hero. We get a Van Damme! We get a Van Damme in the party! Well, don't bash us about with, with it or anything. If I wanted to, then your attitude would have earned you a thrashing already. So let's be on our way. Uh, Shania will show you how to go. Well, if she still has a iris thingy, then that means she's not... Well? Actually, how does this work? Yeah, because they... Okay, so she... Okay, so the Van Damme lady, Monica, was introduced as the daughter. And then our character was like, so you know Van Damme? Because they don't know what the concept of a daughter is. But if she's a daughter, then that means people naturally birth... Uh, still, for some reason, have... The thing in their iris. Or maybe she means like she is his adopted daughter. <laughs> Always nice to have more friends. Uh so we got a okay, so Monica is a tank. Our character's gonna learn about sex. The lost vanguard. Oh, <gasps> Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Look at that thick ass shield. Shockwave. This is a knockback. They also have a smash built in. So now we have a full smash combo without the need of talent arts. Well that's pretty good. Deal continuous damage to enemies in a fixed radius and draws more aggro so they're also an AoE tank. Enemies performing arts will be knocked back. Dog is barking. Boost aggro generated when using arts by 70%. Hmm. Interesting. Move faster, Shania. Monica, can I ask you something? Okay, hold on. I ha I have to see what the dog is barking about. One second.
There was nothing. Following Shania, will you? The dog was barking at nothing. I don't know. Sorry, I don't Let's kill this thing. We can do it. Focus. So right now it looks like is Monica holding all the aggro? She is. She is. Even though we have a Zephyr, the Zephyr has always been the one that holds all the aggro. Interesting. Very interesting. Then just this poor puppy. Damn, so wow, if her class is more aggro than a Zephyr and it's AoE, that's pretty nuts. We meant to get to the city from here. Um, yeah, this is a dead end. Nope. Open sesame. Meh. A door? This leads into the great sword. The city's this way. Why didn't we just fly into the city with your flying tachikomas? What a masterful disguise. Huh? When Ethel said there was nothing of interest in the Sword March, I guess she never found this. Hey, you guys done? Can we get going? Hey, take care, Zeb! Whoa, all of a sudden... Very different architecture here. What a brilliant contraption! No wonder nobody's ever found it. Hmm. <laughs> You'd better save some of that surprise. Well, no, but I'm sure they have a hangar that the that the ships go in and out of. They gotta come from somewhere. Uh, wow, this place was inside the great sword all along. Save a bit of surprise, I said. We've never been here before. Fuller elevator landing. Um, the small people, the small little furry people on our team don't have, uh, I guess like a device planted in their eyeballs. Manners? Wait, what? So, Guernica, that's... that wrinkly guy. <laughs> wrinkly guy. Yeah. So he has a you cross... You were his hmm. daughter. What's that mean? I completely forgot. You don't understand the concept of parenthood. I'll explain later. Later meaning in the city. She's gonna explain about the birds and the bees. That's where the elevator's taking us. You'll be needing those eye patches now. And what for? Those put a spanner in Mobius's recon. 
Mobiuses. When you become Ouroboros, your irises change. And they start emitting a weak radio signal. And so, we're blocking that signal. With these things? What about yours? Are you Ouroboros too? <sighs> we'll go with that. Sorry? You see, we're bound by Ouroboros blood. I'm sorry, what? Just what are you? Uh, she does, they, they all do. So they just have an Ouroboros eyeball. What the fuck? <laughs> this place We're could so fit up. New LA in it, but what no New LA. I've never seen anything like it. Certainly takes your breath away. Actually, does that look is that look kind of like the place in one? The place with the um the head, head, the, what was the race called? Can you save your observations for later? The flyers live. Come on. This looks like that place. Some similarities. Yeah, that one, Hyantia. That's, that's the name. Would have been cooler if it was New LA though. And then when we walk in there we get the that the music. That I don't know. Is that Bunnet digging up or hold on. Hold on one second. We would get I have it here somewhere. Yeah. Like we just step into New LA and then this starts happening. That'd be so cool. You would see me lose my shit. Uh-oh. This thing wants to kill me. Oh no! Oh no, those people are gone. Alright, hold on. We gotta get off this bridge. Follow me, get off the bridge. Get off the road! Here we go. That got a little scary. Ah! I should be on the side of it, but I'm not going to risk it. I mean, this is the way we're going. Wait, where where does she go? Oh, she stayed on the bridge. There we go. God, this way. This is in the sword. Or is this on the other side of the sword? 
Maybe it's on the other side of the sword, because, like... It has to be, because there's no, there's no sword up. There's just sky up there. How they not be able, How are they not able to find this? Did no one look on the other side of the sword? Um, my head kind of hurts. Ah, yeah. That happens when you gain altitude fast. Don't worry, it'll subside. Entrance is up ahead. You do not look like you should have that voice. That, that is true, Cherry. That's right. City entrance. Wait. Wait, so the city is inside the sword, not not the city out there? Okay, I'll say what everyone is thinking. This is all sparking amazing. You can take the eye patches off now. We won't need them past this point. Oh, right. And you sure about that? The city's got some signal jamming tech that functions just like the eye patches, blocking detection by Mobius. We're safe inside, yeah, my word. What if I want to keep them on, though? I suppose that must be the reason why they haven't been able to discover the city this far. You got that right. This place is our last redoubt and our sole haven in this world. But as soon as we step outside, Mobius are all over us, like a bad wool sweater. What's wool? I haven't seen any sheep. So what I'm saying is, don't forget your eye patches when you're out and about. I hear you. And we never saw the eye patches again. <gasps> Big no pawn. It's just called City? This is the city. It sure took us long enough. We shouldn't relax just yet, though. Why the spark not? We don't even know if they're really our allies yet. We can't get complacent. Still on guard, huh? Unlike some of you daydreamers, yes. I'd like to believe them. Their eyes, they look the same as his. They said they opposed Mobius, didn't they? It should be okay then, to trust them. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Gotcha. Bloody sparks. Why do I bother? Thank you, Tyon, for looking out for us. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll follow your lead. But please, stay vigilant. Of course we will. Okay, colony info updated. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's over here? Hey, the colony relations changed. It's bigger than half a dozen colonies. Are there really so many people? This is beyond anything we could have imagined. Look at all these Nopon! Ouroboros. Ouroboros, yeah. So they're Ouroboros? And they're from Kevis and Agnes. But they're just a bunch of kids! Watch yourselves. There could be secret spies. It's over. This place will be a war zone. They're all whispering about us. <laughs> I feel we're not exactly welcome here. Uninvited guests, one might say. They're the ones who led us here. Oh, hey. Doesn't she look similar to the Mobius we fought at Colony 4? It's true. Wrinkly prune faces abound here. 
Mananas by tiny people too! It's whole undiscovered race! No. They must be... humans just like us. So you're Ouroboros, eh? Huh? T tiny people. You've got, what, one or two years left? Some hope you are. Don't know why Van Damme wasted that power on you. What was he thinking? <sighs> What's your problem? Mind your manners. Let me introduce you. These were our Ouroboros candidates. They uh. trained relentlessly to fight against Mobius. Each and every one of them. That includes Shania there. Candidates? You happy? That you stole Ouroboros from us? We did not steal shit! Van Damme gave it to us. Alright, that's enough. Whatever the reason, the old man did choose him. To be fair, they have gone against quite a few Mobius already. They're the real thing, alright. You heard Shania's reports. What reports? I had her monitor your actions with extreme scrutiny. All the way from the valley. Huh? Since way back then? <laughs> <laughs> Together, we are united in our cause. Miss Vanden. Uh, alright then. Yeah, get out of here, you POS. <sighs> Please, it's not their fault. They're not a bad lot, really. That's easy for you to say. Well, that was awkward as all ash. Also, I've only seen humans here so far. I haven't seen any fire hair people, bird people, whatever lands is. Always nice to have more friends. Let's see. I guess you are human. I'll introduce you to them another time. All right. Always nice to have more friends. More humans. Did they not steal any non-human babies? I smell cooking. Always nice Smells to have good. more friends. How about we grab something? Where's all the non-humans? Oh yeah, I, I saw that one. You said that you were monitoring us earlier. That was so that was that odd. Why, why you stormed the castle? After the Ouroboros stone activated, Shania relayed the info straight back to us. So I've been looking for a chance to contact you. Oh, really? We reckoned that you would just head straight here. What we did not expect was for you to dive straight into the heart of the enemy's base. Ah. Uh. I was flipping out. Your actions were so reckless. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I started to wonder if our saviors were just a bunch of raving lunatics. They kind of looked that way. That's a little too harsh. <laughs> Sorry. Poor choice of words. How about hotheads? Yeah, that's not a lot better. Still, it helped us complete one of our primary objectives. I think Securing jelly. Securing a number of growth modules. What are those? I'll show you. You'll find it quite interesting. It's the very reason why we fight. Her tits are not made out of tits. I hope everyone's getting along. <laughs> now I know how you guys felt in Colony 4. Right? At least they warmed up to us eventually. Maybe it'll be the same here. I hope everyone's getting along. Let me check. So many affinity chart updates. Yeah, we're still tied into the 10 year lifespan, apparently. What are these guns like? Hmm. I can't remember if any of the assault rifles look like that in Cross. Where'd she go? There you are.
We're now more or less above the sword's hilt guard. Even this place was once ravaged by war. By Kevis and Agnes. Has the war really spread this far? There's even more. More husks underneath. This right here is what the world is really like. Designed to keep us shackled. Keep us shackled? Hmm. So the war was ravaged inside the sword at some point. Hey, no. You know that pile of husks earlier? You aren't thinking about sending those on, are you? It's <laughs> a lot there. Aren't those cradles? Babies. Your so-called cradles are the growth modules that birthed you. You were conscripted from birth, trained to kill one another ruthlessly and steal each other's life. That life energy pours into the flame clocks, becoming the fuel that feeds Mobius. Okay. Shocks, guys. In order for Mobius to exist, they must continue to claim life energy. And these cradles right here, they're used to recycle your lives. Ethel. Yeah. You live your lives in servitude so that Mobius can exist. And even in death, there's no release. You'll just keep getting recycled. Okay, this all, we knew all this. No way. There's your shackles. Soldiers bound by Mobius's shackles are destined only for mutual destruction. Those who lose their lives in battle, they're reborn anew. They wake from a castle cradle, a blank slate without a scrap of their former memories. Wait, then that husk I saw. But if we keep your lives bound to the bodies, as we're doing here, they're of no use to them. This way, we can whittle away at their power. So you've been doing this over and over again, then? That's right. You don't want to know for how long, believe me. And yet, the price we pay to take down just a handful of Mobius is immeasurable. The city's residents, we're all descendants of the first Ouroboros. The first Ouroboros? What's a descendant? Uh... Right. Hmm. That's not a word you'd have any use for either, I suppose. Better to see for yourselves. Come, I'll show you. Hmm. So we're born to fight. Then we die, over and over and over. I can hardly believe it, but it was Ethel, without a doubt. We get in that lore. Uh, true, Boo, but in this, it had to start somewhere, I guess. See a pregante. Oh. 
Multiple Pregantes. Where are we? This is a maternity ward. Maternity? Tumors. Doctor, may I? Do y'all want to see a baby get born? No! No, please, no. Don't put them through that. It's not a tumor. It cannot be meant to stretch like that. I remember in like high school in, in a health class, they showed us a, a live birth. Well, not live in the room, it's on the TV or whatever. I did not sign up to see that, nor did I want to see that. Fucking like 14 years old seeing that. What the? Why? I don't need to see that right now. Yeah, <laughs> live, they rolled this woman in, like, alright, guys. All right, everyone, get ready. We're going to be here, who knows, an hour, 20 hours? It's all up to nature. It's so small. It's a little person. It's a little it's me. It's so teensy tiny, but it moves. Much rejoicing. Uh, it's okay to touch her. Gently now. But where's all the cat people? Where's where's everyone else? Little person go blah. Mm, blah. No, I think that's big person go blah. She's so warm. Place one finger. In her palm. <laughs> she do go bois. Oh, <gasps> the little warm person's grabbing my finger. Hey, Santa, look at this. Do you need to try it too? Mimi, it's incredible. Let, let me have a turn. Jesus. What? <laughs> this is incredible, Senna. They're going to become parents. Funny, right? But this is human beings' true nature. If you want the ins and outs, go and ask the doctor. I have a whole presentation. Right, then, lads and Who wants to know how babies are made? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Well, you're in for a surprise. Buckle up. Let's do it. He goes to the computer, types in Pornhub. This is some ancient documentaries we received from the old world. So yeah, they're going to be discovering the pleasurable side of living. Uh, 
This is how it should be. This is human nature. We are born defenseless, grow up. Then those who find a spouse create new life together. What about age, all the... Then return to the earth. What about all the other people though? The cat people? Fly people? Fire... Firehead people? Mechanist people? Humanity first? Oh, okay. Thank you. I mean it. Is no one going to ask why... I mean, that would be like one of the first questions I would ask. Like, okay, it's cool you got a lot of humans here, but... What about people that have these cat ears? And then just nothing but flesh where all of your human Monica, ears are. What was that word you used? Spouse? A partner in romance. Ro... The feeling of having someone very precious to you. That'd be one way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Those fingers are bending out of a way that shouldn't be bending. They mentioned that they were descend descendants of the first Ouroboros. That is true. I guess that was a human then? So no, no other races? Do they not... Oh, I guess they can't really... Hmm. You'll understand too someday. Will they? It might be that you already do. Nah. This is an anime. They can't actually do anything with each other. Maybe hold each other's hand at the end. Maybe. <sighs> Your fingers been like that? Well, they shouldn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My fingers do not bend that way. I'm disappointed we can't get all the other races in here, though. Tyon, look! Hmm. It looks the same as the one before. Indeed. Who are they? The first Ouroboros. The founders, we call them. The first Ouroboros. There's a cat one right there. That one. She looks a bit like Mimi. Look at this. He's got Noah's chin. And the others... Wait a minute. Don't look like anyone. I recognize that guy. Something. Isn't that the... The lawns of the first game? Long, long ago, they gained the power of Ouroboros. It let them match Mobius blow for blow. The city folks here. Ryan, Ryan, descended yeah. From them. Bound by their blood. Mm. You said that I didn't recognize it Shaw. It was the queens, so they say. Kevis and Agnes. Their powers united, created Ouroboros. Ouroboros are the only ones that can take down a Mobius. Although there can only be six Ouroboros alive at one time. By activating the stone's cage here, those with aptitude can become Ouroboros. Only six? Why so few of them? I get it. That's why they got so upset. Hey, remember when this happened? Finally clicked? There's only so many seats and stones. The one that my father was moving. It took a long time to be found. I think I'm finally getting the gist of this whole Ouroboros deal. But the queens? Not those sham figureheads in the castles. 
the real queens. Yes, real queens. Yeah. I knew that soulless piece of clockwork junk wasn't the real deal. Does that mean our queen is false too? Mm. We're still trying to pinpoint the true queens. They're out there somewhere, sleeping. Mm. What for? Wait, sleeping? What? Wait a minute. I'm getting East 8 flashbacks. This isn't like a... This isn't a dream, is it? We're not just in some fucked up nightmare or something. Why else? To take our world back from Mobius and set things to rights. The true queens will help us there. Hang on a bleeding second. Ouroboros were born, like, generations ago, right? But you said the queens are sleeping. Are there humans who can even live that long? Now that, I don't know too much about. Then what do you know? Well, the legend goes that both of the queens, their lifespans are supposed to be incomparably longer than ours. And you're pinning your hopes on that? At the moment, that's about all we can do. All right. So, when the world is back to rights, then what? The people you've seen here, the way they live their lives, that could be everyone. Babies, children, adults, the old, they're all a part of nature's cycle. And that would go for us too. Hmm. There'll be more to life than just fighting to survive. We'll weave the tale that we were always meant to tell. Don't give up. Ten years. Ah. Two kids deserve better. The only hey, man, thing that can change feet. all this is the will of Ouroboros. Hello. You kids and your love. Though, some of us around here still ain't too keen on the idea. What? So, those people from before, they're happy living in the moment. As long as they can hide away and cover their eyes, they don't give a damn about the rest. So our lives mean nothing to them? If they can't see or hear you, then as far as they're concerned, you don't even exist. Closing their eyes to what's in front of them. A lot of well, folks Tom? here think that way. But that's... That's just like Mobius. Then the only difference is whether or not they benefit directly. You catch on quick. I can see why my dad chose you guys. <laughs> but the will of the Founders, it lives on in us warriors. Mobius can't reign forever. If we can continue freeing young folk like you, Maybe life can get back to how it should be. That would be best for all of us. For sure. I'm with you. I think we'd have to be lunatics not to believe you, after what you've shown us. <laughs> I believe it too. Seeing how you live your lives, it made me feel really envious. Feeling that warmth, part of nature's cycle. We need to protect that. I agree. It was so precious. Hmm. Shania. I think I'm actually going to be in the stream here soon. I just need to take a look around if we're free here. This is the last stretch. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll wait till we get all this done. Let's get to the dorms. Oh, they've combined into a Mobius one. Hey, the colony relations changed. Okay, all right. So you say you think that's Shulk. Did Shulk have a... Well... The pants do look similar. I, I... I... Kinda? 
It is similar hairstyle. That could be. It's close enough. It will tell you if you come back after the next cutscene. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess we'll do the next cutscene then. Man, I think I need some time to process all this. Because there was definitely a guy that reminded me of Rain. Ryan. Ryan. How you pronounce his name? Absorbing all this in one go. Looks like a hotel. This is the dorm for young lost number soldiers. You can sleep here while you're in the city. You can ask that guy about your rooms. Yo! Oh, and sadly there's no kitchen in the building. A lot of the single soldiers eat at Michiba Canteen. But if you want to do your own cooking, feel free to use that empty plot of land over there. Got it, thank you. Tomorrow we have a lot to discuss. Agreed, how should we arrange that? Meet me in the Lost Numbers War Room. It's the place down the lift from near the Praetorian Hill, which we passed on the way here. Let you know. So this cutscene, Rose? You're free to explore the city as you will. Is that really okay? I said we weren't hostile, right? I thought you'd be pleased not to have my not have me breathing down your necks. No, we're grateful. Thanks for everything. Okay, so we go back. House Ortiz. In memory of the founder of House Ortiz and the city's liberator. A Cavesi soldier, this founder was released from the flame clock system by the other founders. And henceforth, spent every last ounce of his energy for the cause to liberate the city as one of the first Ouroboros. With surpassing skill in mechanical engineering, the founder fought not with a blade, but with the weapon of his own fabrication. He was also responsible for laying the foundations of all the mechanical systems supporting the city to this day. Following the fight against Mobius, he poured the remainder of his days into rebuilding the city before finally perishing at the age of 80. Though how he attained that feat despite his origins as a Kavesi soldier remains unexplained. House Ortiz. I mean, it is still very shock-like, though. And Shock, Shock was good with, um, yeah, I was gonna say, like, Shock was also a mechanic. What if this is Shock? But his last name wasn't, or, well, I, what was his last name? I don't even know what his last name was, actually. It, it does have a resemblance, and considering there are characters straight from the first game, I mean, it still could be, somehow. This guy with the mechanical arm? And the cape thingy? Uh, I mean, the only guy with, like, long hair was the sword guy, right? D yeah, Dunbin. Is this supposed to be Dunbin? Like, they all, they all have similarities, kinda? But it's not like a one-for-one -one recreation. House Reed. In memory of the founder of House Reed and the city's liberatrix, rather than the founder herself, this statue depicts the founder's mentor figure, standing as a sign of the deep reverence and devotion she felt for her teacher. Was Dunban a... Dunban had a little sister. Did he... Did he teach one of the... Did he teach, uh... What was her name? Girl who died and came back as a robot lady. Well, I guess she didn't die. Yeah, I remember his sister. But this doesn't say sister, this says mentor figure. 
The Founder's master was unconnected to her by bonds of blood. Okay. Yet he raised her as would befit a child of his own, it is said. But unbound by blood. Though of a calm and constant disposition, the sight of him on the battlefield, great red sword in hand, great red sword in hand, the Monado, which Dunban did use before giving it to Shulk, struck fear into many a Mobius. And though the vicious struggle against Mobius cost their ferocious warrior his right arm, the loss did nothing to diminish his desire to hone his martial skills each day, which does also sound very much like Dunban, standing as a vivid testament to his indomitable will. So this could just be like, I mean, you know, stories of people who lived thousands of years ago get passed down and maybe some details get mixed up. Yeah, using the Monado hurt his arm, yeah, yeah. And so he only used it for a little bit. I mean, that could be, which means that this could be... Mia? Or... Nia? Though at the same time, I'm pretty sure Nia exists already as the queen, so it wouldn't make sense that she would be a savior? House Doyle. In memory of the founder of the House Doyle, directly descended from those who established the first original city. Her whereabouts were lost after Inn's ravaging of the city of old. So Inn has been around since that time. Um, but upon in encountering the other founders, she committed herself fully to the fight. This founder is said to have a familiar relation to the founder of Van Dam, with scant extent records suggesting they were likely brother and sister. Wait, are those not... Is that not cat ears? It's just her hair, maybe, then, up there? She fought alongside the founder of Van Dam, then, who was the elder of the two, and brought the power of Ouroboros to completion. Said to have been bright and wise, this founder laid the cornerstones for much of the city's governance and legal system. I thought those were cat ears. Like, yeah, they are cat ears, right? Yeah, those have to be. Right? So who could that be? Van Damme is too, yeah, but like the only cat girl of note in two is Nia. And that was totally Van Damme in the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, 100% it was. Yeah, she disappeared after In's attack. But... But I'm pretty sure the queen is Nia, though. Uh. But maybe this is the same person. Who would this guy be? Hmm. Could be evil Mio, could be. Uh House Van Dam. In memory of the founder of House Van Dam, the city's restorer and liberator. The original incarnation of the city was once laid to ruin by Mobius's in by Mobius Inn's hand. The founder realized fully the power of Ouroboros, heretofore limited, and fought against Inn, ousting him. Once victorious, he gathered the old city's people scattered to the winds and reestablished the city. With the city restored, he left its governance government in the hands of the founder of Doyle and departed on a lonely expedition. No records exist after. Heirs of Van Damme's lineage only returned to the new city several centuries later. Oral tradition has it that the founder was master of the classical art of fist fighting, and the scions of House Van Damme carry the, on the custom to this day. Fist fighting? Who's a fist fighter in the Xenoblades games? Was there one in the main parties as a fist fighter? That's Zell from Final Fantasy VIII. Um, Van Damme is in Xenoblade 2, yeah. It's even the same voice actor. The same voice uh, of Van Damme in 2 is the same one in this game. I don't know who that could be. But this guy gave me, like, Rain vi Ryan vibes. I don't remember how you pronounce it. House Cassini. 
Much like the founder of Reed, the statue too depicts this founder's respected mentor. Oh, rather than the founder herself. The mentor boasted a robust physique, wielding two two great swords at once, with utmost ease, and facing down Mobius despite the loss of one eye. Rain, he didn't wield two great swords, did he? No, he, yeah, yeah, he's a shield thing, yeah, yeah. He lived his life an unsophisticated sort, broad-minded but impassioned. I mean, that, that's, that's his character though, right there. And is said to have aided the founders in the fight against Mobius physically and spiritually. He was further reported to have been a free spirit whose qualities influenced the other founders, still young and impressionable when the city was restored. Indelible proof of this rebellious spirit can be seen time and again in the ethos of house of the house in generations to come. And then you. Zeke? Wait, which one was Zeke? I don't remember Zeke. Hold on. Zeke. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. You know, that could be. That could be a reference to Zeke. He did use a, a sword, didn't he? Like a big ass sword? Huh. That could be. House Rhodes. A soldier of Agnes, this founder. F this founder's fight to the death against the founder of Ortiz, a soldier of Kevez, was interrupted by a chance meeting with the other founders. Freed from the bondage of her flame clock, she joined the, f to the fight against Mobius. Although a soldier, the founder is reported to have been exceedingly gentle and kind at heart. Additionally, her skill in the healing arts greatly contributed to the development of medical science in the city in later ages. And irrespective of starting life as an Agnian soldier, she is said to have surpassed 80 years of age, though the way she achieved that remains shrouded in mystery. Uh, the only vibe I get from her, which I don't know if it's really true, is the Xenoblade 2 lady whom, uh, I don't remember her name. She was in the Torna DLC, but you see her in one. She was the, she was that Sephiroth looking mother, mother trucker's, uh, handler before he became a, what were they called? Blade Eaters or whatever he became. The guy with the white hair, he was a villain through most of it. But he kind of joins you towards the end, and he was fighting for that one woman. I should write this all down. Uh, I don't remember her name. There's Sharla from one. Sharla. Ah, oh, my plumage is everywhere. My plumage. Hmm. Yeah, that's the medic. Yeah, uh... I don't really get Charla vibes from her, though. But she was a medic. That's true. Hmm. Okay, well, there's that's some interesting connections. The Orboros Stone Cage. The object on display upon this plinth is the very first original Orboros Stone Cage. It is important to note that initial designs for the monument are said to have included a statue of a seventh founder in its place. Next to no information remains about the seventh founder's identity, and it is possible that this is not due to simple loss of records. Rather, historians speculate that this is the result of a conscious decision by the seventh founder. Oh. I think the idea is that their mythos got mixed up and blended over time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause so like there's some things that are like okay this sounds like shock but there's other things here so which would make sense because we're talking about a world that's been blended two worlds blended into one so blending of their mythos would also make sense so then who would be the seventh founder 
Somewhere we're gonna find a statue of a kid with like the giant freaking water helmet and like a little baby dragon inside it. I'm gonna be like, oh, it's him. You think it could be Alvis? As the seventh founder, the AI? I mean, it could be. It could be. Uh, but anyway, chat, I think that's going to do it for the stream today, everyone. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stream later tonight because I do need to start working on Disco Elysium. Because that's that's YouTube, uh, YouTube's game for this month. And I need to start recording that because I haven't started recording that yet. Um, so I'm going to be doing that tonight. But thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed some more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And we'll continue this tomorrow. Um, so look forward to that. So until then, everyone, have a good rest of your day, everybody. Take care.